Thank you.
Whoa, whoa, whoa. Look what we have here. Look at what we've got going on here. RNG loves me lol, tier one. Infinite Nexo. Or Infinite Nex Zero. Tier one. Willster Prime. Very, very nice. Very, very nice indeed. <sighs> Any gear inspect gamers, guys? Let's go. <laughs> Oh, man. It's time. Gear inspect. Any gear inspect.dll enjoyers? I would never inspect gear. <laughs> oh, man, that's funny. You love to see it. I'm all for this. About time. Wait, guys, it's not actual gear inspect. I, I do not have access to inspect.dll. I, I deny all and any allegations and henceforth and only make statements in the presence of my lawyer. Punish all casuals. <laughs> Community manager Nike already making big moves. Not <laughs> the <laughs> You know, look, I'm gonna open this up by saying this. Do you know why the Nike community manager April Fool's meme is a bit of a fiesta. It's a fiesta because some people are genuinely confused about it because there is no community manager for Guild Wars 2. Um, so nobody knows what's going on. Like, people think, wait, there's no way, right? But maybe. Maybe it's possible. We don't know. We have no idea. It's a mystery. Uh, fashion check is the grant of a gear check. They will absolutely never add gear check, guys. There is no way. Nice. Watch me become a pastor. How can't Guild Wars 2 casuals survive gear check if Final Fantasy casuals can? Because Guild Wars 2 casuals are the ultimate special snowflakes. Because it's rude to be good at Guild Wars 2. That is why. All right, then. Here we go. Ugh. I've been away for a while, but now I'm back. Very good. I've seen some cryptids. Cryptids, huh? You missed a lot? Yeah, I missed out on a lot of things, although to be fair, you know, we are waiting for a, for a new patch, I guess. At this point, how long is it away? When is the next patch, guys? 29 days, pretty soon, actually. Uh, what fashion does Sinister Teapot use? I can't inspect, I just use an outfit. You know, there's actually, there's actually a one, there's one thing that actually feels really bad uh, about this. They, <laughs> I'm surprised, C couldn't they make it split? Or actually, I mean, maybe maybe they can. I don't know. Like, I need to actually have a look and and, and see what happened here. Um, can you just not see people's weapons at all? I guess you can't in PvP, right? Okay, good. Okay, yeah. Wait, I think, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Look. Yeah. You. Yeah. Okay. Okay. 
Yeah, the, the way it was worded in the article, it almost sounded like you just couldn't do weapons whatsoever, but you can in PvP. Uh, you just can't in PvP. Okay, yeah, so we're good, good, good. I was going to say, if they hamstrung the entire feature just because of that, that would be kind of depressing, right? It would be a bit of a feels bad, man. Uh, but it is what it is. It is what it is. It took 12 years. Yeah, this would have been a pretty good feature at the start of the game, to be honest. But then again, gear check also would have been uh, a... You know, a, a gear check would have been a good feature at the start of the game. Yeah. There you have it. Yeah, we'll talk about that in a moment. We'll uh, get down to business pretty soon. Inspect skin. It is actually extremely funny to me that ArenaNet could have very easily added gear inspect, but they very clearly chose to not do that. Um, which, to be honest, I think is actually a shame. Like, gear inspect would be a feature that would improve the uh, endgame scene in Guild Wars 2, and probably improve open world as well, and actually probably improve world versus world, and probably improve PvP, but I guess it is what it is. Um, you know, you, you can't have everything. You know, you can't win them all, guys. You really can't. Unlucky. People are already hard crying on the forum. Well, it's not gear check. I mean, look, I'm not gonna lie. Anyone crying on the forum is just illiterate, no? Like, they, they've read it and they've thought it's gear check, but they just haven't realized that it isn't gear check. It would bring more toxicity. No, it would probably reduce the amount of net toxicity. It would introduce some new toxicity, but it would remove a lot of toxicity as well. That's the reality of the situation. Because, yeah, that one guy who refuses to get a proper build would get flamed out a lot more and would get kicked from every group. But you'd also reduce the amount of situations where um, players who are completely unprepared for content would end up in situations that they're really not ready for. How would it remove it? I, well, I, well, I guess I just explained. Yeah. But overall, it would be significantly less toxic. Uh, actually worked on the big things like the Armory and Vault. I had the impression they were a small team focused on small but impactful quality of life changes. Well, I mean... I mean, this is a... Oh, interesting. Uh, the Wizard's Vault? I mean, I guess the Wizard's Vault is not like a crazy hard feature to implement though, right? Arm I mean, Armory is a pretty big feature. Yeah. Yes. Interesting point. Well, it, ju it just... It means that... It allows players to select their group better, right? Like, if you have information about a player, it prevents toxicity from happening. Like, for example, um, Killproof, right? Like, Killproof prevents toxicity. It's not particularly good at it, but it, it does kind of do it. Because it means that you don't end up with players who have done something a million times and zero times in the same group. That is a recipe for toxicity. And let me give you this as an example, right? Um, gear check and kill proof reduce toxicity in the same way that having a P having skill based matchmaking reduces toxicity, right? Like if PvP matchmaking was completely random, it would obviously be more toxic. It, well, funnily enough, you can kind of see that now, seeing as Guild Wars 2 PvP matchmaking essentially is random because of how low the player base is. But um, yeah, like when you have players of completely varied skill levels in the same group, it doesn't work out very well. It ends up insanely toxic. Um, I have to admit, I'm, the, I'm new, I'm trolling, I don't even know, it'll be a very good thing. I, I mean, honestly, the it's not just that as well, though, Rave. Um, the people who would really get some serious toxicity are the people who refuse to learn. Um, because right now, basically toxic casuals can very easily, like, sneak into groups in fractal strikes and raids. Gear check would completely prevent that from happening, because all of a sudden they'd be going in there with, like, their dog shit build, not even matching runes, right, like, full rare gear or whatever. They would be immediately removed from the group. Um, which would actually be a very good thing, right? Like, you don't- you do not want to interact with people like that whatsoever. Yeah. But the thing is- thing is, low rave. like, uh, the thing about the gear check thing is- is this. People who are anti-gear check are scared of a ghost. Like, where does this happen? Right? People are like, oh, you know, 
Look at all these other games where you get kicked for gear all the time. Like, wow. No, you don't. Th no. That doesn't happen. We're scared of ghosts. We're scared of a ghost, right? It's, a, it's not even a ghost. It's a ghost of a ghost. You're scared of a ghost of a ghost. Um, like, because it just, it just doesn't exist uh, in these other games. Yeah. Yeah, you won't even get invited, but that's the point. Yeah, you won't get invited. Yes, that's a good thing. Like, yeah, absolutely. Like, you should not be joining, like, weekly plus 20 keys on your 350 freshly leveled character. Obviously, yes. You should not be doing heroic if you're a brand new peepo on your 400 eye level zero set piece character. Obviously, yeah, that's not a good thing. That's how it is. Like, sometimes getting kicked is a good thing, okay? And, and or, or not being invited. Sometimes not being invited is a good thing, to be honest. People who do not know mechanics um, are not... Wait, uh, wait. People who do not know mechanics are not that made me piss off. People who refuse to learn pisses me off a lot. Yes, that is annoying. It is annoying when that happens. Wait, what are people saying on the forums? Do people think this is gear check? Are they just like little peepos and they don't understand? Yeah, like, <laughs> what's going on? <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah. Incredible. Being gatekept in Guild Wars 2 PV is putrid. I mean, you don't, it's impossible to get gatekept in Guild Wars 2. Like, I, I don't like, like, gatekeeping, gatekeeping doesn't exist. Not in the way people think it does anyway. You'll get prevented from joining content if you refuse to put in any effort, but never for anything else. They hate that people can steal their fashion. I refuse to believe that that isn't satire. Like, I don't, I just don't know. Like, so anyone who says that is trolling. I don't believe you. I don't believe anyone who says that. That is actual trolling. Fashion Wars is the sole reason why I play this game nowadays. If you just take that away from us by allowing people to just steal our efforts, there's nothing really the game can give me. To, I don't even believe... There is no way that anyone who says that is not trolling. That is absolutely a troll comment, to be honest. <laughs> but who knows? Maybe I'm coping, guys. Maybe I'm coping that they're trolling. It's possible. Yes. <laughs> Look at the Lost Ark situation. I need to actually do some research into that game because apparently it's really bad there. And I haven't played the game, so I can't really comment. Um, and my, the thing is, I think it is different when a game is pay to win. And obviously Lost Ark is a pay to win game. So if you can, if, if there's like, if you get gate kept behind gear in a pay to win game, that is a, I will admit that could be real gatekeeping because it might be, you literally can't afford to get the best gear or you're not willing to spend the money to get the best in slot gear or whatever. That's honestly, okay. I will admit that is gatekeeping if that's the case. If it's like a pay to win situation. Yeah. What is this tweet? <laughs> Please have a way to turn this on off. People who love fashion, fashion wars can work for hours or yes, even days on looks just to get it right. Then anyone can copy it in five seconds. Wait, <laughs> oh Jesus. Also means less community interaction. Well, I mean, I don't know. Like, was there really that much community interaction? People asking for skins. I feel like that that wasn't really happening. I don't know. If you can't get the content in the first week, you have to buy a carry. Yeah, but why though? Like, why is that the case? Lost Ark has hardcore raids as dailies. You need to do on many uh, alts, so time is money. Oh, it's like it does like it's like the multi box stuff. Oh my god! Wait, should I be helping these guys? Because I feel like they were doing a one v one, but I mean, I guess I'll get involved now because it's turned into a one v two. I feel like they're dying though. I feel like we should res this guy. I mean, we should obviously res this guy. Reviving is really OP. Why did he teleport away? Reviving is really OP in situations like that. Is Chrono broken OP right now or what? Wait, Chrono? I mean, it's definitely good, yeah.
Do you do your eyebrows and look sharp? Uh, no. I guess I just have very sharp eyebrows. I just came out of the shower, so. Uh, well, I mean, I've just been working out a little bit, you know? Because that's what I've been doing, guys. You know, I've, um... I, you know, you might have noticed that I've been gone for a while. Um, and I'll be honest. I just haven't really felt like streaming. Um, I don't really think I really have any good content to create right now. Um, uh, realistically, I'm, I'm working on that, but... I don't really have anything to do or anything to, to say, really. Uh, so I've just been trying to sort my real life out. You guys know how it is. Yeah. It is what it is. Um, embodiment of Sin Grind. Not gonna lie, I have, uh, I have zero interest, to be honest, Grim, in uh, Embodiment of Sin. Uh, there's, I've got, I'm working on a lot of WoW stuff uh, right now. Uh, specifically, like, Mythic Plus. But nah, I have I have no interest in uh, embodiment of sin. Yeah. Evening pugging? Nah, I I don't uh, I don't I don't want to do it. That's how it is. Let's go to the hero's lodge. That's how it is. Oh, shit. Oh, well, this is not good. Uh, too hard, not interested? No, it's not about the difficulty, uh, Spike. It's just, I'm not interested. It's, uh, not fun. I don't want to do it. Yeah. It's, um, just... I don't really want to do that kind of, like, annoying grind. It's There's too much RNG in that. And we'll definitely do it eventually, right? We will, I will, like, you know, work towards it, but it's, it's not very interesting to me. <sighs> Alt raids are not that bad. People like said you have minimum gear and since progress. You physically cannot progress higher item level unless you raid as you need bo uh, boss materials to craft gear. Um... Almost, uh, you get occasional kick from group, even less than Guild Wars 2. And your bosses are terrible. You can kind of sneak your way in by playing supports. Yeah. Uh, the WoW streams are fun, though. We shouldn't to lose those. I mean, no, I, I will I will stream, but I need to... I need to, you know, figure out what I want to do. But yeah, and I will... I'll show up when I feel like it. Most fun to play tier list with the new update? Yeah, maybe I can. Maybe I'll do some tier list, guys. Maybe I'll get some tier list going uh, this week. You know, we'll do some exciting tier list content. It's gonna happen. Yes. What is the tier list of tier list? That w I mean, that would be quite good. Some for, like meta content there as well, actually. Ah, Edgy Mimba with a tier one. Very good. Sarah CM and EOS title will be nerfed tomorrow. I, I think they probably will make some adjustments. Whether it'll be tomorrow, who knows. Um, but, yeah. Guild Wars 2 content from you? I feel like there's a lack of Guild Wars 2 content careers right now. I mean, yeah, I think that um, the Guild Wars 2 content creation scene is definitely a little a little quiet. Uh, to be honest, it's definitely a little quiet. But it's because I don't think... I mean, look, I'm, I'm not, I'm not going to bullshit you guys. Like, Guild Wars 2 just is not a particularly interesting game to me. I, you know, I, like, right now, it's, it's not that interesting. Realistically. New World is dying. Dude, honestly, the New World devs are kind of giga-chad, actually. Like, the, <laughs> Darren's linked me this clip. It's absolutely so brutal. Oh, man. Check this out, guys. This is good co fucking content. Hang on. Let me, let me find this for you. Oh, my God. This is brutal. Check this out. I actually have a lot of respect for the devs actually doing this. Because they know that they get these absolutely brutal questions all the time. And they keep doing it. Look at this. Check this out. Here we go. 
<laughs> look, look at this question. Why do they keep developing things that no one asked for? Like the game... <laughs> Why do they keep developing things that no one asked for? Like the gamepad. Everyone asking for OPR maps, cyclical <laughs> PvP content. This video was my last hope to last continue hope. playing. At the moment, I don't think I will continue since there is no content to do. Oh my god! Honestly, the fact that they actually answered that, respect. Okay? Respect to them for doing that. Like, I don't think any- I don't think- Many game companies would do that. There's there's just no fucking way. There is no way mo many game devs would even respond to that. That is based. Right, uh, well, first like... off, I'm, I'm sad to hear that you don't want to continue. And I appreciate, you know, even taking the time to come on and make, you know, suggestions, comments and everything. Um, it's a little mm. unfair to say no one asked for the controller. I think if you were to go parse the feedback, there was actually... A ton of people asking for it. Maybe just not. To us, that probably was actually. Like, New World is a game that would play well on console. And they also do want money as well. I, in your circle are the people who play the way you play. And I, you know, I, I think I've said a few times, we try to appreciate the broad <laughs> audience and we try to push features forward that the different segments want. <laughs> it's a rough question. And controller was a pretty big one. And I think you know, it was important for us on top of that because our combat, you know, from the beginning, our vision was to get this with the controller. We always thought it would feel better with the controller and we were excited to do that. Um, that said, you know, I have said this a few times already, but in May, we're gonna have a lot to talk about. And I think that it's safe to say the PVP players are gonna have something that's gonna excite them. <laughs> oh man, that's funny. That is funny. But yeah, like, you know, that's content guys. That's big. Very, very big. We love to see it. Console gaming. There are a couple of new people popping up on YouTube doing guides and lore content. Yeah, but like, the thing is, g guides... Well, one, these people don't stick, for a start. They, they really don't. But secondly... How can I put this? There's nothing wrong with guides, but guides are not... <sighs> guides do not keep communities engaged. Um, it's not the type of content that builds a community, really. Uh, it's not the type of content that um, generates conversation around the game. It isn't entertainment, right? Like, that's that's what's missing. Like, Guild Wars 2 doesn't have entertaining content. There's, and there's nothing wrong with guides. Like, guides are great. I've made many myself, and there are loads of great guides out there. But they're not entertainment. And that's what Guild Wars 2 is really missing. And that's what's kind of died a death, right? Like, that's what's died a, a really painful, slow death for Guild Wars 2, in my opinion, over, like, the last... Um, Last couple of years. We start doing Zero to Hero? Yes. What are the entertainment content and other MMOs? Um, I mean, it can be, it can range from podcasts all the way over to stuff like, let's say, Swampletics would be probably the, I would say, the ultimate or, or one of the best incarnations of this, right? Like the the challenge runs or wow hardcore like wow vanilla hardcore is a really good example um of that like podcast discussion speculation news coverage all that kind of stuff and then yeah stuff like swampletics kind of like interesting storyline community things expat tease we have a screenshot of the new expansion That's how it is. Delta's Wild Bog. Yeah, yeah, that's funny, actually. That was the name of the image. I think they renamed it now. It was like Delta Wild Bog or something. The Twitch just put a banner ad on the stream. Yeah, they do that now. Enjoy that banner ad. Like, have fun with that. <laughs> it's really funny when that happens because the stream, like, shrinks and the banner ad pops up or something. Enjoy that ad, guys. Have fun. Enjoy it.
Yeah, Jake with the Prime. Gigapog. Gigapog indeed. No ad for me. Yeah, no ads. If you want to get rid of that ad, guys, you have to subscribe. Boom. And the ad goes away. Yeah. That's how it is. You better be ready, guys, to pre-order the expansion using my referral link. Darren's going to be the next bigger content creator for Guild Wars 2. He's really putting in the effort. He actually could. Darren's is extremely entertaining. Um, the thing is with... with <laughs> Dar look, if I want to give honest feedback, Darren's needs to chill out, be slightly less degen, uh, and he, he needs to focus on doing things. Right, he is an an actual zoomer, right? Like that, uh, I think that does hold him back a little bit. Yeah. Heard Twitch is going to move towards not counting non-active viewers. Um, I don't know about that. There was like a there was a big stir about the embedding stuff. I think they specifically went after what's that like scuffed wiki called that has like the like the crazy amount of embedding going on. I think they do want to get rid of embedding uh, eventually because that kind of messes with the viewer numbers a little bit. Yeah, Fextra Life. Yeah, they went after Fextra Life a little bit and they probably want to get rid of that because that is a little bit cursed. Um, to be honest, it's a little bit weird. It does kind of inflate the numbers massively, of course, um, in that case, but I don't know about like non-active viewers um, when it comes to like that. I'm pretty sure that right now, Ads don't play unless you are tabbed in or something. So they are trying to make sure that you're looking at the ad. Like, look at the ad, guys. Look at the ad. So they are doing some stuff around that for sure, yeah. The 2024 roadmap in June 2024. Honestly, look, you know, it's, it's still 2024. You know, it is what it is. That's how it goes. Getting rid of uh, dead watches would destroy the view count. I mean, maybe. But I think a lot of people do listen to Twitch as like a podcast style thing as well. So definitely is a bit uh, confusing as well. I don't know what they're going to do. Their wiki is dog. Not even funny. Well, I guess, I mean, it is what it is then. I don't know. I haven't really used their wiki. I can't comment. Yeah, the Guild Wars, uh, the Guild Wars 1 and Guild Wars 2 wiki is actually really good. I'm actually surprised how scuffed the WoW wiki is. Uh, like, WoW head is not as good as the Guild Wars 2 wiki, actually. There are some things that I would change, actually. Oh, this is bad. There are some things that I would change about the... Oh, I'm very dead, aren't I? Yeah, this is not looking good whatsoever. Well, I mean, that's unfortunate. I fell behind the pack. There's things I would change about it, but it's pretty good. Like, WoW head is pretty scuffed, honestly. That's how it is. Yeah. Wowhead is rat. How do they differentiate between second monitor and uh, background? Um, I'm pretty sure Chrome, they must know if the, if the browser tab is focused or not. Because it works fine on second monitor, but I'm pretty sure right now if you tab out of an ad, it like doesn't play or something. I don't know. It's kind of weird. It like pauses the ad and waits for you to tab back in. So there must be some kind of functionality there um, with that. I don't know. I haven't really looked into it. Wasn't Guild Wars 2 Wiki helped by the devs? I don't think so. I think it's it's official, so there's like some level of capacity there, but I don't think the I think it's maintained by the players. The players are in charge, guys. Wait, let me in. Why can't I get in? Oh, it's full. But wait, it didn't pop up above. That's kind of weird, isn't it? That's unusual. I'm listening to you all working in the nursery. Just open Twitch. So there you go. See, there it is. I'm a podcast. I'm a podcast. I'm insane. Incredible. Anet pays for hosting. Oh, well, that's nice. Guys, look. It's the next expansion. Now, I don't know if this, this looks like um, Ascalon to me. Like, that would be my guess, actually. And, you know, I did actually check, and not really, but I was immediately put in mind of the um, uh, Prophecies cutscene, actually. Like, this is what I... When I saw this, I immediately thought, oh, that reminds me of the 
Guild Wars Prophecies first cutscene here. This, specifically like this section here. Right, this shit. Um, basically, looks a little bit like that to me, but... Then I looked and I was like, ah, I mean, not really. I mean, it's also, it's trees with hills. It could be anything, right? You know what I'm saying, guys? Like, it's trees with hills. I, I, I'm not sure if we can really, uh, you know, draw too many kind of insane conclusions from this. You guys know what I'm saying? It's like, it could be anything. Yeah. I still see it. Why do I still see it, guys? Hey, gold swags, tier one. Very nice. And you know what, guys? I'm actually gonna be an Omega. Um, I don't even know what this is, but I, I'm I'm looking at the comments. I go on the Reddit thread. I, I read through the thread, and people are going crazy about the fact that they've improved the engine to make the textures look prettier. And, I don't know guys, this might just be wow brain talking, but if I don't see content, I don't care at this point. You know, it's, it's like... It's, it, I'm too far gone, guys. Like, I've smelled the syrup. Like, I, I've seen a game that releases content, and I and now I go, well, this game releases no content, so I don't care. Um, I don't know, it, it's... Yeah. <laughs> it is what it is. Who knows? Content isn't everything, though. No, I actually disagree with that. Content is everything. And it will look prettier, though, which is nice. Is Infinite Teleport the Ren good now that it's 10 minute cooldown? Actually. I think that does make it a lot better, yeah. It's a much better item now. It's pretty decent, for sure. Uh, just play WoW, then? I do. Oh, yeah. Toxic content enjoyer? Yes, that's me. What's the chat on YouTube saying? Surely now is the time to speculate wildly and get hyped. I mean, yeah, maybe it is. Maybe it's time. We got a tree boss next expert. We bring out all trees. This game is lacking a tree boss, though, actually. That is true. We do need a tree boss. Tunnel the X pack. I don't think it will be a tunnel expansion. I mean, look, you know, it will be funny if like, every MMO is releasing, like, uh, you know, underground-themed expansions. Nothing to speculate on. They need to get better at that. Um, I mean, I mean, to be fair, it is a little bit soon. I don't think they don't need to go crazy on all the teasers and stuff like that, because, and they haven't even, you know, they haven't even released, like, the, you know, the, the final patch. So, that, you know, that's fair enough. Will you ever be content with the um, with the current content? Um, uh, realistically, no. Uh, the future of Guild Wars 2 for me is about one week of gameplay a year. Uh, and that isn't good enough. Um, because I don't... I'm not feeling particularly optimistic about the open world content um, uh, in, in the game. So there's probably going to be one boss per year uh, that will be interesting to me. And everything else probably won't be. A successful content creator need consistent uh, new content. Well, actually, uh, honestly, in the in the case of me, maybe not. I mean, I play. You know, I've I'd, I'd like to think I'm relatively successful, and I played Guild Wars too. So, like, you know, we don't need that. It's fine. That's entirely optional. We don't need that, guys. We can live without it.
But I definitely would like to see, um, you know, the 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 biggest uh, the biggest disappointment for, for me with Soto was actually the open world. Like the open world was not good, and that was very sad to me. If the open world is better in the next expansion, that's actually hype. That is hype. Let's go. We'll see. We'll get crushed by a tree at 75% HP and die. I mean, that will be quite a funny random occurrence there as well. Uh, so much cons uh, constant content they could have provided with World vs. World where drought wouldn't ever have been as bad as we got. I mean, you're not wrong, but it shoulda, woulda, coulda. Do you think rifts was a 1x pack thing? Uh, I mean, yeah, they're not just going to, like, randomly do rifts again. You might end up with rifts on the new maps, but maybe not, actually. That would be kind of weird, I think, because each expansion kind of moves the timeline along. So, theoretically, the rifts will be kind of dealt with, right, by the time we're done with Soto. So, I think lore-wise, it wouldn't really make much sense, actually, if they started popping up uh, in new expansion maps. What do you consider good open-world content? Uh, Dragon's End would be the, uh, the obvious one. Dragon's End, Triple Trouble, uh, Dragon Stand is really cool, actually, as well. Like, those are the, uh, really sick open world events. And actually, a modern version of the Temple events would actually be good. Um, it, from, you know, the original core game. I think those are actually pretty cool. They need to be updated and, you know, definitely polished up a little bit. They're scuffed by modern Guild Wars 2 standards, but that type of thing was pretty cool as well, I think. Yeah, Chat Garen um, pre-Power Creep was good. Uh, Octovine pre-Power Creep was good as well. Um, I think Verdant Brink pre-Power Creep was good as well. Serpent's Ire is alright. It's, uh, you know, not terrible. But yeah, Dragon Stand, Dragon's End is like really big highlight, I think, in terms of uh, really cool meta events. Thing is, the tunnel could have been good. I, I think, you know, like, I'm not even joking, guys. The tunnel could have been good. They just had that stupid Siege Turtle stuff, uh, which is really unfun. You just don't want to interact with that ever. Uh, and the last boss is lame. Like, but it could have been pretty cool. Uh, I meant to provide the additional content when the game itself slows down and providing new content. Uh, but I get there's only so much we can do to provide that extra content before it might start getting stale for the people. I mean... Truth, truth be told, um, uh, Domo Ventus, I sealed my own fate. Um, I, I think the thing that has been the most damaging to my ability to make content for Guild Wars 2 is playing World of Warcraft. Um, that was easily the worst thing I could have done uh, to do this. It like Playing WoW really killed my motivation for this game um, for, for a couple of reasons. Like for a start, and it, it's very difficult to say this without signing, without kind of blaming other people. Um, so please bear that in mind. This might sound a little bit accusatory, but I promise you it isn't. It's obviously, you know, everything's fair. Uh, I started playing WoW and obviously because, you know, I'm the leader man, right? You know, I'm the I'm the guy, uh, guild leader. Uh, all my friends start playing WoW. And when my friends start playing WoW, they go, Oh, I don't want to play Guild Wars 2 anymore. So, all my friends basically quit Guild Wars 2 or don't want to play the game anymore. And this leaves me in a very annoying situation where everyone who surrounds me doesn't want to play Guild Wars 2, and I'm left completely on my own, pretty much. Um, and it's actually a little bit worse than that. Um, the type of players who I like to play with are extremely rare in Guild Wars 2, and I was a major part in making a large amount of them uh, stop playing this game and play WoW instead. And now they don't want to come back because they like WoW more, and that means that my ab I've kind of self-isolated myself in this game to the point where nobody really wants to play. Yeah. What version of WoW? Um, retail World of Warcraft. So it's a little bit difficult for me to kind of do stuff in this game because everybody I want to play the game with has quit. Give them a bit, they'll get burnout on WoW. Oh no, they won't. I, I, I can promise you that. And even if they did, they wouldn't come back to Guild Wars.
That's how it is. Angels killed fungus? Kind of, yeah. What do I believe uh, referring to as incredibly rare? Uh, competitive players. It's very uncommon in, in Guild Wars. Competitive players. Yo, look at this fucking warrior. He's going crazy. That sucks then. I mean, it is what it is. Ashes of Creation will be your big break, though. I mean, yeah, who knows? I mean, maybe that game will be its own big break as well. Um, jump into WoW, just so I felt like doing BGs. A bunch of friends resell because of it. Go, but they're uh, playing also when I'm playing the games as much now. Exactly, yeah, that's the issue that... That's kind of the issue I'm having. And I don't like to say it's an issue because, you know, I don't own these people, right? Like, I don't own my friends. If they enjoy the game more, then that's the game they should play, right? At the end of the day, they should play the game that they want to play. Um, so that's why I was trying to preface that by saying this is not like an accusatory thing. I'm just kind of, I'm, I'm telling you guys the weather. I'm explaining the situation. It's no one's at fault here. Nobody's done anything wrong. Um, right? It's just, it is what it is. Yeah. Yeah. And that kind of leaves me in a weird situation where I don't... There's just not really that much opportunity for, for me to kind of engage in, with the game in the way that I want to, right? Like, the, the kind of things that I like doing in Guild Wars 2, you know, I like doing community guild stuff, right? I, you know, I like running tournaments. Like, that's what I really want to do. Like, if I distilled down, like, what would I... It, what would the ideal version of my content look like? It would be tournaments, it would be guild events, uh, it would be, like world versus world like raid speed running it would be competitive pvp like those were the things that i would boil down to and right now actually doing that in the game it's almost impossible uh, and actually this is the thing that um is also equally frustrating it's very easy to do that in wow that's and this is this is why it's this is the kind of the issue that i'm running into it's very easy to do that um because people want to do that there's loads of people who want to do that it in that game. So it's like really, really hard and basically impossible to sustain it in Guild Wars 2. And it's extremely easy to do it in WoW, uh, which is annoying, right? Yeah. Get new Guild Wars 2 friends? Who? You don't think that your viewers, uh, that you actively Guild Wars 2, want to join your stuff? Um, no, I, I don't think so, no. I don't. Unfortunately not. Why is that? Well, I mean, because people like different flavors of ice cream, right? They just don't want to. What do you think about this comment? Wait, what, what is this? Please no, keep the game as non-competitive as possible. It keeps toxicity in check. Well, you know, not exactly wrong, to be honest. Like, um, competitiveness is obviously going to introduce toxicity to the game. But I know what he's saying. I mean, like, yeah, obviously I disagree with that. Uh, a more PvE type raid players who want interested in PvP. Uh, is this, uh, fair? Um... I mean, a lot of them play PvP as well, actually, but, I mean, broadly speaking, yes, but I view it as irrelevant. I, I don't really consider the, um, the Guild Wars 2 PvP scene competitive either. Or, or the World vs. World scene. Let's go. Original chat Garant. Indeed. Chat Garant gameplay, guys. We love to see it. Cover the expertise? Not yet, but we will do. Have no fear. What are some from your viewers actually identified as the kind of person you're looking for? Um, I'd say show me your logs and show me your PvP gameplay um, is what I would say. Do you find any of the upcoming MMOs? The only upcoming MMO that could has potential to be interesting is Ashes of Creation. But that game is probably years away, and who knows if they're actually going to pull it off. How can you make World Wars all competitive with the current mechanics without making it absolutely degen? Competition is degenerate. That's the thing. 
Competition is inherently degenerate. Um, competition is, I'm willing to grind for eight hours. And then another guy pipes up the back, at the back and says, well, I'll do it for nine. Then another guy says, well, I'll do it for 10. Then another guy says, well, I'll do it for 11. Okay, then another guy says, well, I'll play 20 hours a day, seven days a week for a month straight. Uh, and, and that's competition. And that's very much the case in all things. Like in sport, it's like, well, I'm willing to train six hours a day. Well, I'll do six and a half. Well, I'll do seven, right? You know, it, that, it, that's how it is. Uh, why play games that are a casual experience as a competitive person? Because it wasn't always thus. Um, like, the competitive scene in Guild Wars used to be pretty good. Yeah. Uh, it definitely existed. I think it was small, but a lot of fun to be around. Yeah. Ah, Nike with the 90-month resub. Holy shit. Dude, he's got the seven and a half year sub badge. People think fashion spec violates their privacy. Get out of the door. Boom. Then competition means having no life? Kind of, yeah. That, that is what it is. Yeah, wait. Dude, I can't believe this. Wait, how is this real? Only have a, uh, I couldn't realize about toxic raiding culture. That, that could, wait, is this about gear check? Oh, wait, hang on. Wait, what is it? Wait, what is this actually about? Wait, wh where are the Twitter replies? Wait, what is, what even is this? Where, where is this thread? Is this on like Nike's thing or what? This must be on Nike's thread. <laughs> I just, I just, I don't believe. I just don't believe. It's on the official one, but it's not even gear check. This doesn't make any sense. What? <laughs> It doesn't make any sense. Whoa. Holy shit. What's going on here, actually? Oh, Wait, dude. My dash didn't take me anywhere. No! I'm through. Easy. Yeah. I think people are actually... I mean, people are, like, ironically, like, mistaking fashion check for gear check. <laughs> like, how is... What, what is going on? This has got to be like a literacy problem, no? Like, I mean, what, what? they just don't, they don't they don't understand. Like, it's it's not gear check. Well, I mean, that's how it is, I guess. Unlucky. My official position is that you want to quit over fashion inspection violating your privacy, please do it. The game is better off without you. Everyone will be happy with you gone. And I do mean literally everyone. Yeah, I mean, to be honest, I think if people are actually mad about this, they probably should quit the game. I think it's for the best. I think that is uh, very true. Pow. Oh, almost got him. This is not good. I think people are that scared of gear check. You know, dude, I, I th people have probably said this in the replies here, but I'm not going to lie. If you're worried about gear check, you are self-reporting, okay? Because the only reason you'll get kicked for gear check is if your gear is unbelievably terrible. So if anyone is mad about gear check, they are basically self-reporting and saying that they run bad gear. Like, there's, there's no other way around this. Um, it is a huge self-report. To be honest. <laughs> oh, man. That's funny. Full Sinister Core Ranger. Carry and Longbow Ranger. Yeah. Yeah. What do you think of class check? 
Gear checking and class checking in fractals uh, and strikes isn't as nice. Wait. Wait, class check? Wait, wait, what? Wait, 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 wait. I mean, what? <laughs> what even? How do I even respond to this? Okay, I don't even know how I can begin to respond to class checking. They don't. They, you shouldn't be able to see someone's class when they log into the game, when they join your group. You should have no idea. I'm a power harbinger enjoyer. Well, you know, it's funny actually. Power harbinger is not even bad. In fact, it's quite good. It does like 43k DPS. So it's not even bad. Good news. You shouldn't be able to see other people's gameplay. Yeah. Power is stronger than Reaper. I wouldn't say it's necessarily stronger than Reaper because Reaper has really good AoE and Harbinger probably not so much because it has little projectiles, but still. You shouldn't be able to invite them to a party. Well, I mean, honestly, I don't think anyone would want to, so that's probably not too much of an issue. It's a lot stronger than Reaper in every way. Oh, really? Does it have, like, good AoE too? And I guess being ranged is nice, and it heals itself a lot too with Blight, right? Which is pretty good. I guess you have Greatsword. You probably run Greatsword on the build, so I guess you still have some AoE. Pretty nice. Yeah, you have wells and greatsword and stuff. So I guess that is good. Reaper uh, loses shroud when taking damage, so Power Harbinger uh, has that. Yeah, but I, uh, like, uh, Reaper mains coping that shroud is bad on Reaper is, I mean, outside of a few very uncommon situations like Veil Guardian, uh, Reaper Shroud is actually a really strong mechanic. It's like a really powerful defensive mechanic, to be honest. Especially when you use the third skill for the extra damage reduction on it. You shouldn't be able to see other people's DPS. Why not? If you're in a... Like, okay, so let me put it like this. If you... If you're in like a group project at school or something, should other people not be allowed to see your contribution to the group project? I felt that doesn't really make a lot of sense. It's the same thing in video games. Yeah, like understanding like what other people are contributing is very important when it's a team effort. It's a team effort, gamers. You shouldn't be able to see. The screen should just be black. There should be no graphics. Everyone should be invisible. What do you think of timed content like Plunderstorm? <sighs> This is actually one thing that I really see in WoW. I'm not sure if it's arrogance. Like, if I was being cynical, I would say it's arrogance. If I was... <sighs> like, WoW throws away more content than other MMOs release in years. Um, and it is insane to me, to be honest, that they do this. Like, the fact that Blizzard will say... Oh yeah, we'll release the entirety of Mists of Pandaria for you. Play through that in, like, two months, and then it's gone. Uh, or they'll say something like, Oh yeah, we'll make you an entirely new game mode, and it's going to be around for six weeks. GG. And then it's gone. Like, there is something... It's... I, I don't know. Again, I, I'm not sure if I'd call it arrogant, or if it's... If it's just insane, because of the way that they run their game. Um... Ah, no. Like, it's fucking wild. Yeah. They're, yeah, there's a middle ground, okay? They're very, they're very far on one end uh, of the spectrum, right? Yeah. Or yearly events in Guild Wars 2. I mean, yeah, they'll probably... Well, I would hope they would bring back stuff like Plunderstorm. But the thing is, they, they had no plans to. They said, yeah, it's here for six weeks, then it's gone, right? They just put you in the latest expansion stuff. Yeah, the the <laughs> the the fucking uh, like the the playing through the game from level one in WoW is the most bizarre experience ever. I'm not sure how they could make it better, but I've actually, I'm actually doing it for research for YouTube video essay purposes right now, actually, and it is so 
weird, to be honest. It is such an unbelievably bizarre um, experience. It's just... The, the game is like, oh yeah, look, it's time to, you're, you know, you're level 10. You just finished killing some boars in uh, Cold Ridge Valley. Uh, time to go to BFA, by the way. Uh, and then away you go. It's very unusual. Yeah. Makes players play it at the same time. It definitely does that. It like funnels people around the place. It's a bit like, it's a bit like meta events, but on a game size scale, like the entire game, um, it, you know, is a meta event basically. Dungeons all the way up to 60? Well, no, I'm actually just leveling in the open world. I'm actually surprised how good the uh, story is, actually. The BFA story is actually rather good. I'm very impressed by the voice acting in particular. It's actually really high quality, uh, to be honest. There are some like slightly weird moments, I will say. It's not all good, but it's pretty decent overall, which, which is... Uh, I was kind of pleasantly surprised about that. Exiles reach into BFA. Yeah, that probably does feel a little bit better, but like the normal leveling is fucking weird as fuck, uh, to be honest. Yeah. WoW is all about endgame. Well, that's interesting. I don't think that's actually true. I think that um, WoW is just... WoW is a single-player RPG, open world, that happens to have a dungeon simulator, raid simulator, and PvP simulator attached to it, right? Like, it's... Um, or it's the other way around if that, that's the way you feel about it, but I, I actually think that it's just more than it, it's not It's not a cohesive game, right? Like all of it is entirely separate pretty much um, I don't think that you know, there's not much like connecting the story of the game to the end game of the game They're entirely separate entities. I think yeah. But That's how it is How do you think Ellie could be fixed? It's really subpar in terms of utility. It needs every utility skill to add DPS. Like maybe it's just the class identity of Ellie to not do that. But, I mean, it's pretty simple. Uh, remove the damage from utilities and make them actually utility. But maybe Ellie just is a big blaster. Who knows? Any MMORPG is pretty much endgame simulators. The more and more I play WoW, the more and more I'm convinced that's absolutely not the case. Um, especially, no, I, I think all of you people are wrong as fuck, by the way, when it comes to uh, WoW is all about raiding. I don't think that's true at all, uh, to be honest. I think there's probably a huge amount of people who just play through the story and basically play the game as a single player game. Maybe crank out a couple of dungeons, maybe do LFR to see the story of the raid, and then wait for the next patch. Um, I, I, that's probably a lot of people play the game that way, and I think that um, uh, I think that's also the case in Guild Wars 2. I'm not saying this is bad, by the way. Uh, I'm just saying that this is how people play the game. I think a lot of people just play like the story. Uh, maybe again, like do the meta event to see the story there. Maybe do like the new fractal and stuff to see the story there, and then wait for a new update. Um, that is uh, that is the reality. And yeah, like the the more and more I play WoW, especially like the open world and questing stuff, the more I'm convinced this is the case. Uh, uh, it's not Rover Mars. Ah, yes. WoW can be a bit of a running sim, especially in, like, uh, the vanilla versions of the game. Like, in, in the older versions of WoW, the game is a giga running simulator. But, you know, like, look, you just gotta get immersed in the game, man. You know, just... Yeah. <laughs> WoW is all about botting. Well, I mean, every MMO is all about botting. Honestly, the people that- the fact that people bot your game is probably a good sign. Like, because it means your game is actually alive. Uh, I think the only MMOs that don't get botted are dead games that nobody cares about. Although that's not even true, because Guild Wars 1 is also heavily botted as well, and that's actually a dead game. Yeah. Yeah. WoW Vanilla used to be um, a lot more social. I mean, yeah, but I mean, WoW Vanilla now isn't very social. Um, it's more- it's more like technology has removed the social element. Like, there's a reason why McDonald's are adding um, self-checkout uh, booths, where you can order without talking to another person. It's the exact same reason that stuff like Discord and add-ons and um, 
stuff like wowhead class discords uh build guides all of this has uh disintegrated the social element like people who say that vanilla wow in its current form is a social game are kind of kidding themselves it's still a little bit more social than modern mmos because there's just a lot more friction the game is a lot slower it, it takes a lot to get anything done in that game compared to a modern mmo like it's much you need other people, basically, to, to do things, so it's inherently a bit more social, but it's honestly not very social. You could very easily clear all of the raids in vanilla without ever really interacting with another human being outside of joining a pug. Um, like even stuff like Naxxramas, like you can do Naxxramas in GDKP and never talk to another human being, pretty much. Um, uh, in Vanilla WoW, the, the social MMO. The truth is, is that modern technology and players getting better at MMOs has removed the social component from these games almost entirely. That's how it is! Because, yeah, but right now... And you know, this, the, you know, man, I saw, I saw a con, I'm now completely certain of this. I've been working on a theory of kind of the problem with MMO communities right now is that casual guilds almost don't really exist because running a guild is inherently non-casual. Um, and I was reading a lot of stuff on the Classic WoW subreddit, and I'm now convinced this is actually a, a really interesting social problem that's happening, right? The casual players do not run guilds. Like, that is very true. And you're going to say, oh, what about that one? Yeah, okay, it's a unicorn. It's the exception that proves the rule. Like, there is a very major issue, in my opinion, that's currently facing... Um, casual players in MMOs in general, is that more and more, the people who make groups don't want to play with ca with casuals, <laughs> pretty much, right? So casuals are actually kind of getting left out here a little bit. I think this is true in all games. It's definitely true in Guild Wars 2, actually, um, because I would say it's an inherently non-casual thing to do to join a Discord. And now, I would not recommend pugging through the LFG in Guild Wars 2 at all. It's not a particularly good experience, especially if you're a new player. I would always say join a Discord and get involved in a guild, get involved in a community, which is actually kind of an inherently uncasual thing to do. Um, I really do think, actually, that there needs to be much better social features in MMOs. Like, social features in MMOs are bad. Really bad. I don't know the... Maybe uh, someone point this out to me if I'm... If, um, if you guys know a really good example of this, tell me. What MMO has good, actual good social features? Like, which one has good social features? Tell me if you know one, because I don't know of a single guild, a single game that has actual good in-game social features. It's all been completely replaced and outpaced by third-party software. Um, either stuff like Twitch or YouTube or... Uh, wikis like wowhead and stuff like that guild wars 2 wiki uh discord obviously all this stuff it's completely replaced that which is actually inherently anti-casual final fantasy what is what does final fantasy have how does it work in final fantasy yeah. um explain it to me how it works housing uh wait, no that that's not good enough that doesn't tell me anything tell me how it actually works Standing in one area doing ERP. I mean, look, I, I mean, I guess that's good. Yeah. Final Fantasy is so barren socially. See, this is why I know, you know, okay, look, I'm just going to say this, guys. This is why I do not trust anything anyone says about MMOs. Because 10 people just said Final Fantasy has insane social features. And then, 10 seconds later, a bunch of people will say, it's barren, it has no social features, no, it, it, it's over, right? Like, I don't, I don't know what to tell you. I, I need to play these games. The only way I can ever make any accurate determination is by playing it. This is the exact same goddamn shit as BDO. Like, to this day, chat, I have no idea if BDO is pay to win. I actually don't know. Because, um, I, I used to be a little bit interested in the game. And I would ask questions about it. And I would always ask, guys, people who have played the game, is it pay to win? 
right? Tell me if BDO is pay to win. And then immediately, half of the chat would say, it's pay to win as fuck, it's terrible. And then half of the people would say, no, actually it's not pay to win. Um, you know, you're good to go. And I had no idea because I haven't played the game myself. And I was like, well, I give up, you know, I guess, I, I guess we'll never know pretty much. Yeah. So, you know, that, that, yeah. I don't trust people on this. I, I have no way of knowing who's telling the truth. Yeah. It is, but it also isn't. It's complicated. It, exactly. Like, how, how am I supposed to determine this? Yeah. Half the people think Guild Wars 2 is pay to win. Well, it's because pay to win is um, in the eyes of the beholder, right? Um, like, some people would definitely consider Guild Wars 2 to be pay to win. For example, if... Okay, look. Tell me this, guys. Here's, like, a really good, like, extreme example. Like, a um, friend of mine, Envy, right? You guys probably know Envy. Some of you will know him. BDO guy. Him and some of his mates uh, came to Guild Wars 2. And Perspective, one of his boys has dropped a quarter of a mil on BDO. Um, himself, I think, uh, tens of thousands on BDO. They're, they're wealthy guys, you know, they've got, they've got money to throw around. Um, and they came to play Guild Wars 2, and uh, week one, they had every single legendary and every single rare infusion. Um, and if you said that you can do that in Guild Wars 2 with real money, people are going to look at you a little weird. Um, let's be honest here, right? Like, so pay to win is very much in the eye of the beholder. Like they dropped like 10 grand on the game week one because that's what they do. That's how they like to play games. And fair enough, it's their money, right? But it's very much in the eye of the beholder. Um, some people would consider that pay to win. Some people wouldn't care about that. It, it's really how you view it, right? Yeah. Um, legendary. They didn't have the armor. They had like all the weapons, right? All the weapons. And, and like, um, tens of thousands of gold, right? Because they wanted to go for all the legendaries and stuff. Yeah. It's far easier to gear now. It used to be stupidly pay to win. It's in the middle ground, I'd say. You have to put time to learning. Um, it put time to gearing. But to pay to win, you have to spend super much money just to gamble. You aren't guaranteed that money will make you more powerful. Oh, that, wait. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that doesn't seem like much fun, to be honest. The gear impacts the gameplay, so it isn't exactly like Guild Wars 2. Yeah, I mean, some people don't care about that. Uh, it it kind of depends, right? And people forget WoW came before social media, and people use WoW as a... So yeah, exactly, yeah. WoW was your social media, right? Like, there wasn't, like, this big... You know, back then, people were still using fucking X-Fire, right? You guys remember X-Fire? Oh, yeah. Um, like, WoW was social media. WoW has been entirely replaced by social media. Like, this... I understand that people really miss the social element of MMOs. I definitely do as well, actually. But the problem is, is that MMOs are simply not a good form of social media communication. They're just not, um, unfortunately, compared to, well, actual social media. That's the issue. How does one win an MMO? I mean, that's what I mean. It's entirely up to you, right? Like, some people would view farming gold as winning. Some people would say having the best gear is winning. Some people would say gear is irrelevant. Only the fashions are uh, you know, fashion is important or whatever. It, it really doesn't, you know, it's entirely up to you what you view that as. And getting extreme benefits in a game which drastically makes your character significantly stronger. Um, that's pay to win. I mean, some people would say that, you know, like their winning is, you know, the cosmetic progression, right? Some people would say that. Like, I'd probably be a little bit more in line with, like, I don't really care about cosmetics because I'm not very oriented around that. Um, but if I cared about cosmetics, I wouldn't like the fact that you can buy gold um, whatsoever. Yeah, maybe fucking achievement points is, like, what you consider to be winning. It's entirely up to you. That's how it is. Uh, the game presenting obstacles that you're encouraged to pass um, with money. Um, th to be honest, yeah, th that is the definition that I would probably go for. Uh, or, or that I would use as a measure of this thing we call pay to win because that includes games that make themselves annoying to play unless you include money and I like that. I don't like the fact that pay for convenience gets away with it. I think pay for convenience is um, pay to wins 
evil twin, uh, to be honest. At least pay to win is fucking honest. Yeah. Maybe uh, Roger will have Final Version released in 2003. Comms tools, yeah, but they weren't ubiquitous, right? Like, yeah, sure. People were using stuff like Ventrilo and TeamSpeak uh, back in the day, but that was not the same thing as Twitter, right? It was nowhere near as ubiquitous as social media is now. I shouldn't, u I like the word ubiquitous, but I shouldn't use it because it is actually kind of a weird word and people don't know what it means. Get ahead of other people in the game, that's it, that's the meaning. Winning against the game is not the point. Well, that's incredibly nebulous, though. Like, what do you mean by that? Get ahead of other players? Like, is that in terms of farming gold or having better items? I mean, it's like, very complex, I think. It's actually really difficult to define that. There's a reason why so many games get away with really shitty things, because it's very easy to kind of slime your way out of being a pay-to-win game. Like, oh, Diablo isn't- Diablo Immortal isn't pay-to-win. You could grind that gear out if you wanted to. You're just paying for a bit of a speed-up. Right, that's all you're doing? Like, yeah, you could get full bis. Um, you know, you could get full bis without, um, you know, uh, without spending any money on it at all. Yeah. Fashion and wow, you clown. The game can't even die gear. To be honest, you could make some pretty incredible outfits in that game. No joke. You don't really need to die gear because there are so many items in the game that exist that you can pretty much find, like, anything you want. Like, the fashion in that game is pretty crazy. You see some really interesting characters as well. Certainly in retail, anyway. If someone who spends money on a game has a different experience than someone who doesn't, that's pay to win. Yeah, the thing is, though, that's that would include literally everything except cosmetic um, enhancements. Uh, and again, dude, I'm down with that. I, I think any, uh, any microtransaction that interferes with gameplay in any way is terrible uh, and is completely unacceptable. Um, so, yeah... Uh, but that's a very extreme definition. I think not a lot of people would actually lean into with that one. Ah. When did winning become something else the, other than uh, having fun? Well, I mean, like I said, it's in the eye of the beholder. We include expansions. I have to temper it somehow. Yeah, that's also a really complicated thing because that means that Guild Wars. Yeah, buy if you play like a if you buy a Guild Wars two expansion to unlock elite specs, you're gonna have a very different experience compared to someone who doesn't, right? Like you know, it's very weird to play through Soto without elite specs. It's very uh very uh, confusing, right? Very complicated. Are you fucking serious? What the. F Fuck! Nice to know this is how a Guild Wars 2 employees feel. No way. The, I don't even believe this is real. Actually, you need to link me this. You need to actually show me this, or I just I think you just faked this. There is no way that people think this is legitimate. Oh my god. Yeah. <sighs> Uh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I don't understand. How can people think this is legit? <laughs> ah. Yeah. <laughs> you know, okay. Look, I'm going to repeat what I said at the start of the stream. You guys know the actual issue with this, right? The actual issue isn't actually that, you know, um, people are getting baited by this. The actual issue is there is no community manager for Guild Wars 2, so people are actually getting bamboozled. People have no idea who the community manager is for Guild Wars 2, and that's why this is so convincing, I guess. It's because nobody knows. The truth is, there, as far as I'm aware, and by the way, guys, a ReadNet partner, by the way, I don't think we have a community manager. I don't think so, anyway. Um, there is no community manager for Guild Wars 2. That is kind of insane. Yeah, like, it is more ridiculous to people that there is no community manager than Nike is the community manager. Yeah. 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 
It is actually funny. Ruby did... You know, what's actually more annoying about this is nobody's paying attention. Ruby actually did confirm that Nike isn't the community manager on her Twitter. It was in a reply, I guess, not a regular tweet, so I guess you could not see it. But she did actually confirm that he does not work for ArenaNet. But people still don't get it. Oh, man. Do you see my reply? Wait, wait, you actually replied? Wait, I don't think I did, actually. I don't think I did. I don't think I did see that. Wait, where, where is this? Wait, what is that? Ah, uh, incredible. <laughs> what, what the fuck? <laughs> ah, so you had a very long Twitter argument with this RRR guy. <laughs> Incredible. Oh, and I, yeah, wait, actually, wait. Now I go on, I just went on Ruby's Twitter and it says community manager, senior community manager for Guild Wars 2. When did that actually change? It didn't say that until very, that must have been a very recent change because I actually checked just the other day and it still said um, content marketing strategist. Wait, dude, are they actually changing this? But dude, Nike's trolling might have actually paid off here. We might actually finally know who the community manager is. Nike has been fired. It's over. <laughs> the United Arts Interior just goes popping around with dumb takes. Wait, what do you wait? What do you mean? What are they talking about? Like about the Nike community manager stuff? Is this actually a thing? What are they talking about? Nike is another marketing guy for Anet. No! No! Fashion Wars? And the gear inspect thing? The, uh, the fashion inspect? Look, the fact that anyone is upset that you can inspect other people's fashion, it, it shows that there's no hope, guys. Okay, you know, we're beyond saving. If this is too much for the Guild Wars 2 community, guys, then I'm not going to lie, guys. The Guild Wars 2 community is the turtles with short necks on the fucking island. Okay, you know what I'm saying? They can't reach the leaves. They're not going to make it. That is the reality here. Yeah. <laughs> the neck is too short. I don't want to get me kicked by a leader just because of what my character looks like. Can you guys imagine the universe where Nike gets to cease and desist because of this trolling? I could add, oh, I, <laughs> It would be very silly if that happened. Who knows? Maybe it will happen. I can see it. I mean, I, I, it, it could happen, to be honest. Oh, no. It's time for gear check, guys. Add gear check to the game. It is com Oh my- oh my god. I almost don't even believe that this is real. I- I don't know, I- 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 
<laughs> I, what is this? <laughs> well, I mean, I don't know what to say. You know, I guess what I have to say is this. You can actually just use WoW. I guess 14 as well, right? Don't people love to dress up their characters in, in 14? And they have gear inspect, and they're doing fine. Um, so I don't think it's really a big issue. There are players that could do more DPS in soldiers gear than summon full berserkers. Um... Here's the thing with that. I will grant you that that is the case. But the amount of false positive kicks you get is going to be nothing compared to the amount of accurate positives you hit. Yeah. If that makes any sense, Jasper. Um, like... I'm not going to pretend that gear check wouldn't result in some people being kicked for a bad reason. That would 100% happen. Um, uh, like, yes, that does happen. But it is a worthy price to pay, in my opinion. Yeah. Your teammates actively gatekeep uh, flame new players fresh off placements in PvP. It's not really Team USA's fault that the population on NA in particular is so low that players can literally play against rank 1 legend in their placements. Um, or indeed in a couple of their games after their placements. It's not, it's not their fault. Uh, I hate to say it, but like you, you, you're mad at the wrong guy here. It's uh, nothing to do with Team USA. Team to continue to flame though. I, I, I can't really, I can't really give like an accurate answer on this. I, I don't. I'm pretty sure they aren't really toxic. Uh, like maybe they get mad on stream. I don't know. Maybe they get pissed off, like you know, it, in ranked on stream and shit. And you know, I don't know. I guess that's not ideal, but I mean, I don't know. As long as they're not like flaming people in game, which I think is pretty unlikely. It's not really a big deal. Let's go. Yeah. Yeah. Gear check with opt-in. The thing is about opt-in, like, I think gear check with opt-in is a... Uh, I, I, there's probably a, an appropriate metaphor for this, but uh, it, it would be the same as just gear check, right? Because what groups would run with gear check is not mandatory, right? Like, every single group would mandate it. Yeah. So it would be irrelevant. Pay cash to get RPs of the character? Feels like they're getting robbed? Wait, r I mean, what's wrong with- No, hang on, I wait, oh, wait, why, why does that change anything? Like, I've paid um, to have artwork done, not of my character in particular, but of, you know, various scenes within the game for tournament promotion and so on. I, I don't think that's in any way relevant. Um, like, if you pay for a commission of your character, there's nothing wrong with that. That's cool. That's based. This is bad. Ah! Ah! I'm fucked. Dude, look at this. The power of jumping. No, not enough. Vans. I mean, yeah. The. I mean. <laughs> I mean, look. That guy just really likes his character. What can I say? <laughs> Maybe a little too much. Yeah. That's how it goes. Gear check is the silliest thing I've ever heard. You know, like, okay, so... 
The, the question that I would always pose to any anti-gear check player is if gear check is toxic, if gear check is gatekeepy, and it, it makes really negative environments, why is it easier to get into content in WoW and Final Fantasy than it is in Guild Wars, right? I don't get it. Like, if it's so toxic and it's so gatekeepy, why is it better in these other games that have it, right? Like, why is Guild Wars 2 worse for new players than WoW and 14? I, I, I don't... I, I, seriously, I'm, I'm asking that in good faith. I am... Seriously, guys. I'm not trolling. I am asking that in good faith. Why? How? How is that possible? Um, if, if this system is so toxic. Yeah. Because that, that would be the counterfactual I'd kind of, I, I'd offer there. Um, it, it doesn't make sense. Why isn't it bad in these games? Why does it work? Nicole's tier one, nice. I'm going, Eevee. Let's go. Uh, in look at the endgame stuff. Gear check is beyond goofy because acquiring gear is no hurdles in Guild Wars 2 at all. Oh, I mean, people have problems with it. You know, there are definitely issues. Gear check is way less toxic than DPS meters. I, I don't think DPS meters are toxic either. I think uh, they're, they're, they... Sometimes you will get smushed when you perform badly. That is inevitable. Um, but, you know, at least you know what you're doing wrong. <laughs> yeah. 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 Dude, like, Juan Punch just trolls the subreddit, okay? That's all he does. And honestly, I like it, based. It wouldn't be worth it. I mean, it probably wouldn't be worth it now, um, but I think it would have been good to have at the start of the game for sure. Yeah. Maybe people that start while well expect themselves to try and get better and beat the game. People that play at Guild Wars who um, uh, maybe don't. To be honest, that probably is a big part of that, but I, I think, yeah, the culture in these two games is, is very, very different. But the thing is, um, I feel like Final Fantasy and Guild Wars 2 have similar culture, and Final Fantasy does completely okay. It's, like, really easy to get into content in, in that game, as I understand it. Um, even entirely through the LFG. I mean, people pug fucking ultimates in that game. Um, so, you know, it's obviously pretty accessible to do this stuff. And the culture there is pretty similar between the two games. Like, very, very, like, uber casual, right? Seems to do fine over there as well. Should Guild Wars 3 have a DPS meter? Um, you know, the DPS meter thing is really interesting because technically no MMO has a built-in DPS meter. Maybe some, like, really modern ones do. I think it doesn't Lost Ark have something like that, actually. I, th maybe, I, I think I heard about one game. I'm not sure if it was Lost Ark or something similar um, that actually does have an in-game meter. But most games don't. Like, even the, the big rating games don't really have that. It would be kind of interesting if there was, like, um, a, a proper version of that. Oh, Lost Ark is very against it. It was something else. Someone told me that there is a game that has an inbuilt DPS, me DPS meter, but um, I guess not Lost Ark then. Oh, Taris Land. Yeah, that, I don't know. I, I can't remember exactly, but I know there's one that does. Um, but yeah. yeah. Tibia does. Oh, there you go. The, the trouble is with this. It's the reason why um, add-ons exist in WoW. Like, no matter what tool the devs put in the game, Players will always want to customize it, and devs won't be able to um, do it enough. Like, to us, if I was Blizzard, I would buy weak auras and add it to the game vanilla, straight up. Um, I'm, not, I'm not even joking that to us. Like, I would just do that. Um, because weak auras are like building a Lego, right? You can build your own UI from scratch very easily. You don't need, like, coding knowledge or anything like that. And it's more customizable than anything blizzard could add to the game would ever be like there's just absolutely no way like you cannot you cannot make weak auras and make the customization as good as that without weak auras there's just no way it has to be like that anything blizzard does will be worse yeah. yep. my guild has got a frack yo patty star let's go congrats very nice very good 
That's a tough boss. It's a fucking tough ass boss, man. Like, Farak was harder than I was expecting. It's, yeah. It's much, it was much, much, much harder than Sakura, for sure. Very difficult. Yeah. Impressive. An MVP screen? I mean, I, I think stuff like that can actually be kind of cool. Like, it could be like a, having like a soft, uh, like a soft DPS meter um, in the game like that actually would be quite nice. Like, for example, um, I think the participation system in Guild Wars 2 could genuinely be sick. Like, uh, seriously, if they lent into that, maybe added another level. Dude, it's funny, Sneb was talking about this, um, and he kind of got roasted for, for even suggesting this, so I'm going to slip in and take credit for it, uh, and people are going to go, wow, Teapot, you're such a big brain. Um, but yeah, Sneb was chatting about this, and yeah, he, he was really in favor of adding a soft participation, like not a DPS meter, but it says, hey, you scored gold on this event, or you scored platinum on this event. That's pretty good, I think. Um, you don't need to share it with other people. You don't need to necessarily have a number that's telling you how good you are. But it's saying, hey, you know, you did a lot in this event. Good job. The issue is in, uh, in Guild Wars, of course, is that you can get gold participation for literally one second of regeneration. Seb also brought up that example. He got gold participation for applying one second of regen. Um, in an event. So obviously, it's not actually giving you any good feedback. It's it, it's nothing, you know, it, there's zero good feedback there whatsoever. I got full rewards and participation on Dragon's End for hitting the boss once at 1% HP. Someone can find the someone can find the clip, guys. Someone can find the clip of that. It's a good clip. Um, for Dragon's End. Yeah, obviously, you're not getting good feedback from that system um, whatsoever. So, yeah. Not good. And yeah, you can get, like, giga participation for full AFK on Herald. Although, to be fair, if you're giving perma quickness by AFKing on Herald, then it's probably not that bad. So, unless you actively don't run the quickness trait to grief, or you refuse to do enough upkeep, so you actually don't give any quickness whatsoever, then, I mean, you're still kind of participating a fair bit. Yeah. Ah... Would I consider Warframe as an MMO? Um, it, honestly, it depends what you mean. Like, if, if I'm going to be really argumentative and annoying, I don't even really consider Retail WoW an MMO. Um, retail WoW reminds me of Guild Wars 1 or Warframe or Destiny, right? Where you have a lobby where everyone AFKs, in this case it's Valdraken, and then you go and you, you walk to the raid and you do the raid, and you walk to the M plus dungeon and you do the M plus dungeon, and there's like some single player story that's going on at the same time, which is playing through the campaigns. Uh, and of course the leveling experience as well like I, I don't think modern MMOs are really MMOs like Guild Wars 2 is one of the few modern MMOs that I would consider actually an MMO um, because of the way the open world works that's just how you play the game yeah I mean I agree but it's it, it's, it's, it's very weird to me that we would say massively multiplayer when the largest group size is 30 Right, um, essentially, uh, in the content, with heroic raids going up to 30, or I guess normal as well, right, going up to 30. That's the biggest group size, and the vast majority of it is going to be five-player content. Um, you know, like five-player content in, in dungeons and stuff, and then obviously 20-player raid content for Mythic. Ah... Bronze and silver do exist. You're getting confirmation for bad performance by not being awarded anything besides gold. Yeah, of course. Yeah, you don't know if you've done well or not. You have no idea. Um, you know, I, I like this. Like, I think a lot of older games had stuff like this. And I, I think some modern games too as well. Um, do you guys remember in like Sonic games where you'd get a rank at the end of your level? You know, you'd, you'd grind to try and get the S rank at the end. I think some of that's actually really cool. I, I like that. Um, obviously, systems like that are imperfect, right? Like, the, you, you know, they don't necessarily mean that you played better. For example, if you do, like, a speed run of Sonic games, you're not really going to get the highest rank on every level because that's just the way it goes. But yeah, I think some of that's actually really interesting. 
Given to the top 10% of damage dealers, healers, and silver being 11 to 60%, and cob for the last 40%, will probably be easy to code, actually. And so, yeah, that would be cool. So, something like that could be cool, yeah. That would be interesting. Um, even if it didn't really affect rewards that much, if it just told you that you're doing well, yeah, sure. I could, um, I think systems like that in general are quite cool. For sure. Um, go on a pros but full naked or something to avoid. Honestly, that would be fucking, that would be pretty good content. They should do that. I have to say, I, 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 I yeah, I, I personally, I don't get it. They want to keep their fashion hidden, guys. Under lockdown. Um... It would drive the competition crazy. We'd never lose any event with this system. I mean, maybe. I mean, it would hopefully make things a little bit better. Maybe. Yes. Incredible. Week of fashion, fashion gaming, inspect, let's go. Why would we be on the expat? We know Guild Wars 3 is coming. True! Actually true. Have you seen the cost in the Instagram post? No, no, I I haven't. Oh my god. Listen. We need to just remember that there are some lunatic gamers, but they're not important. Okay, uh, they're the minority guys. Well, <laughs> dude, it's this guy. Oh, man, this guy's videos are so good that I'm actually tempted to do React content. This guy is legitimately insane, and I love it. I'm here for it. This guy's YouTube is fucking god tier. It's so good. Um, yeah. He is insane. Like, genuinely and completely unhinged. Yeah. <laughs> you know, the thing is... Um... I actually feel a slight moral obligation of not feeding into it. Because I actually don't think he's well, uh, to be honest. And as a result of that, I think it's kind of... It is a little bit immoral, in my opinion, to to actually kind of uh, encourage this by giving any kind of response. Yeah. <laughs> But let me put it like this, guys. This is what his YouTube channel looks like. 
It's multiple accounts of boosting Guild Wars 2 player numbers. I caught Guild Wars 2 moderators censoring posts for no reason. Like, <laughs> Guild Wars 3 petition grows. What are these thumbnails, by the way? Jesus. Okay, the first Guild Wars 2 OnlyFans page, Guild Wars 2 is on life support. He's like fucking multiple videos a day. Guild Wars 2 player wants to be euthanized. ArenaNet doesn't care about Guild Wars 2. It's all this, by the way. It's all like this. Okay, there is a... <laughs> <laughs> Guild Wars 3 petition <laughs> to stop a read net. Guild Wars 3 subreddit is here. Guild Wars 3 is a lie. Okay, Guild Wars 3 is dividing the community. I was fooled by Guild Wars 2. Four steps to quitting Guild Wars. <laughs> the Guild Wars 2 cult is powerful. Guild Wars 2 marketing is legendary. I am part of a Guild Wars 2 conspiracy! The Guild Wars 2 community is ruthless. Oh, man. That's what I'm talking about, guys. This is content. Okay. Day 2, learning calisthenics. Honestly, that's good. More of that. Why are those videos so long? Because it's usually just him, like, reacting to stuff. In his info, he says it's all parody or satire. Does it actually say that? I'm not entirely sure if it is. This is a comedy satire channel. These videos are experiment. Attacks on the human species. <laughs> honest opinions with... Wait, but here's the thing. Then he says honest opinions. So how do... What is it? What's it going to be? Hmm. Hmm. Who knows? If he says it's satire, I mean, I don't know though. Could it be satire? Could it be real? Can you tell? I'm not sure if I can. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, honestly, if he's trolling, I do feel a little bit better about that. Uh, you know, like, if this is all an act, then... You know what? That's fair enough. He's the mod of the real Guild Wars 2? Holy shit. That's big, actually. It was merely an act. Dude, I got caught. I'm caught. A video of you? Um, yeah, it's actually a, it's a weird one, actually. It's me talking to Deeg uh, ages ago, actually. And then um, also he reacted to the tea time as well. I think it was... Wait, which one, which one was it? It was... Um, yeah, it's this one, yeah. Like, where he got trolled by Nike, though. All my videos are an experiment, a test on the human species. <laughs> well, I mean, that's, that's one way of putting it. That's definitely one way of putting it. The true community manager, the real community manager, is this guy. He is, here's some from Instagram. I hope there is a disable option. As you've seen in comments, not fair for people who spend hours. Now everyone can steal my drip. Great. 107 likes! Now it only takes seconds for people to call me my looks like I spent hours coming up with. You know what? Add gear check to the game. Do it. I, I, and not because I want to check people's gear. But we need to cleanse the community. Okay? Like, the fact that Guild Wars 2 has this in it, this is not good. This is bad. Um, it, it must be removed. We can actually remove gear check afterwards. Just add gear check to the game for one month. Okay? Just add it to, for one month. Just one month. One month. Take it away afterwards. But we need to make everyone who feels this way quit the game immediately. They need to go. Okay? They've got to go. <laughs> this is unacceptable, chat. And... When gear check is in the game, 
I will unleash the covenant again. And we will go to every single stream and the subreddit and every single discord. And we will manage the community. The forest will close in around them. And the forest will be tended by the covenant. <laughs> nice. It's not Team Yazor, they can flame new players at Insane Take. Asmund's Gold's uh, Cousin Blaze Guild Wars 2, the stream. Listen, I know you're mad because you got farmed by people who are better than you in ranked, but trust me, um, posting in Twitch chat isn't going to make it better. And also, uh, I want to point this out because it's going to save you a lot of time later. Uh, for you right now, this interaction is probably incredibly important to you. But I want you to know this is incredibly one-sided. I will not remember this conversation. I will not remember you. Uh, don't bother uh, taking your frustration out on me because by tomorrow, I won't even remember you said what you said. Uh, take it somewhere else. It's a waste of your time. There it is. Job done. By tomorrow is a, a bit quick, I doubt that. I mean, I don't know, could be hours. Got triggered a bit. Uh, sorry, not Asmogold still. Uh, never will be. Oh, uh, I mean, I, I mean, I, I, I guess you're trying to say that I'll never have any viewers. And you know what? True. I probably won't be Asmongold. Uh, but hey, at least I've still got my hair. Boom. There it is. Actually, guys, I'm sorry for that. Making fun of people for losing their hair. It's actually not okay. Okay, that's um, honestly something we should, uh, we should not do. It's inappropriate. I'm sorry, guys. I take it back. Nightlight, thanks for the Prime. I appreciate it. Yeah. Yeah. But no. Hey, Sizzle, Tier 1, Keys. Ah, yeah, I better actually do the uh, review of this news and we go play Keys. Um, we'll be on that. But anyway, um, look, here's the, here's the situation. Look, I, I feel compelled to um, respond to this, Amonk. Um, I, look, if someone flamed you in game, you know what? Honestly, that feels bad and they shouldn't do that. Um, however, blaming Team USA for your own failings, it's not getting you anywhere. Uh, and it is what it is. Uh, it, it, you know, in my opinion, you have two choices. Uh, you can continue to play Guild Wars 2 and attempt to improve your skills and be a better player. Um, or you can continue to blame other people for your own failings and for your own lack of skill within the video game. Uh, and if you choose that path, I'd actually recommend not taking it and quitting the game instead. As if you're only going to externalize your own faults and your own personality failings, then I'm not going to lie, it's, uh, it's not going to get you anywhere and you're wasting your time. That's how it is. Enjoy. It seems to say a guild. Uh, it's a PV, it's like a loose guild uh, PvP team on the NA server. How long? Uh, probably like, I don't know, like 40 minutes, surely. Yeah. Yeah. Keys. I know it, you know it, everybody knows it. Yes, that is one of the phrases that I like to say. Uh, yeah, still wants to get into keys. He wants to start keying up. He's already gearing his Resto Druid for uh, next season. It's going to be great. It's time. Become the tree. Summon the little mini trees. 
trees. Nice. Trees. Wait, there's nearly a hype train? What the hell is going on, guys? We've got to get that going. Everybody get on board the hype train. I'm hyped right now. I'm hyped for this hype train. Let's go. I've enjoyed Plunderstorm and should animate their own version. I mean, I haven't played Plunderstorm at all because, to be honest, I'm not super interested in, in that uh, that type of game. But yeah. Cize with the Prime, GG. Cize has joined the hype train and it feels good. Well played. 11 month resub. Very nice. Apparently, a strain of fungus has almost eradicated the American chestnut tree. Wow! Hype train is the least hype thing ever. Yes, that's why I find it very funny. It's the, the entire concept of a hype train is inherently funny to me because it is, let's all get excited and give the streamer man money. That's that's all it is. It's like, yes, let's pay the streamer and Jeff Bezos. Let's do it right now. I like it. That's exciting. It's exciting to me, guys. That's what I like. I mean, yeah, if I was in the tournament, I would have played. Uh, but to be honest, like, it's, it's whatever. Ah, oh, Megas Wilt, the tier one. See, there you go. Another excited player. <laughs> oh, it's a fashion enthusiast, guys. Look at this. Incredible. Oh, well, there you have it. See, look, the chat is clearly excited. Fru F gifts five subs, leveling the hype train up. That's big. <laughs> I'm hyped. How, look, chat, are you feeling excited right now? Chills? You're getting chills? Vivolo one cone? Very interesting emote there. Scam train is level three? Yeah, I mean, look, it's clearly working. Twitch is going to get some good feedback on this one. Chat is excited. Pog dog and cone. Hmm. Vivolo one cone. Real Astics with the prime. I like that. We've got the little wiggling emote there. I like that. Gorg C Shake. Yeah, Jake is pretty excited right now. Like, he's very excited. Jake is going to be excited for Phase 4 when the rune collection is even worse. Jake nearly broke to uh, Phase 3 launch. Warlock rune. And I think he will continue to break as well. Phase 4 will finish him off and utterly break him beyond all possible recovery. I feel gatekeeping fashion is the funniest thing of all time. It is extremely funny to me, yes. Um, I am actually happy this has happened because now I can laugh at it. And you know what? You know what the funny thing is? Okay, let me actually say something, guys. I don't even think people are going to do it that much. Like... Is it really common in other games that have gear inspect that people like just completely copy paste someone's character? Is that actually a thing? You know, I think it might actually be used for dye colors, like more than anything else. I think people will look for like the dye colors and they'll figure out what um what color it is. But I don't think people are just going to, like, steal every... Like, run around like, oh, I'm going to copy you. Woo! <laughs> I don't think it's really going to happen. But, yeah, dies, maybe. I could see that. 
Yeah. I think it's going to be people looking for like one armor piece or a weapon or a die color. Copy all buttons I can paste into my builds. Yes, do it. Like, I think we, maybe we could do that. Let's go and actively go around and copy people. Let's let's run around following people and then just turn into their character before their very eyes and just morph into them. That's big. The new grief, the ultimate grief. If Aina added gear and spec, they wouldn't even lose income. Uh, literally, no one would care. There would be some drama or whatever. It would get thrown out in one month. I mean, you know, I'm not sure about that. The, uh, <sighs> I'm not actually sure about that. I'm pretty sure that... Um, Gear check would cause such a crying storm that they would actually remove it. Like, they, I don't think it would survive. Boom. No, I think it would. I think it would. I mean, they would never add gear check to begin with, but it wouldn't survive. People uh, love um, gatekeeping builds. Do they though? That that's the thing. Um, like anyone who feels this way, I would really encourage you to think about this. Why do you feel this way? Um, do they? Yeah. What should I do? Yeah. You are no longer unique. Your effort is worthless. I've heard it before. Yeah. But have you have you actually seen the behavior? Like do do we have evidence that this behavior is like a really big thing in the community or do we just have people saying that it is? Right? And just saying, "Oh yeah, yeah, bro. Raids are really toxic. Yeah, bro. Oh yeah, yeah. I heard it from that other guy." Right? The oh man, it's rough. People gatekeep their build in world versus world, but that's it. I mean, yeah, every guild has like their own special source, right? For like what setups they run um, a little bit or a little bit of special source. <sighs> choo choo, exactly. Yeah, there it is. Yeah, yeah, world versus world just do hide their comps a little bit. Um, but it's kind of, it's, and I kind of get that to an extent because I think. Uh, World versus World in like GVG, that that's where you can really get people with composition and stuff like that uh, a little bit, but you know, you'll find out eventually. Do monthly IT trials try to keep uh, secret tech builds until finals? Um, I think generally no. People might play different comps in earlier rounds, I think. Um, a, a little bit. But broadly speaking, it does, I don't think that really happens very often. But that thing is, it's weird because this only applies at the absolute high level, right? Like, it's kind of a, a, a somewhat irrelevant point, I think. Yeah. I've been gatekeeped for asking an open world holo build. Yeah, open world. Wait, what, how did that interaction go? I have to know. Wait, you asked someone from their build and they were like, I'm not telling you. I'm, <laughs> what? <laughs> I mean, I don't know. <laughs> What an asshole. That's crazy. Yeah. Uh, they would uh, do gear check and the same of their do DPS. Just don't go after add-ons to do it and leave it to the community. All group leaders would just install the gear check. We get the benefits without any harm. Well, I mean, theoretically, you can probably do that now. Like, if you run gear check, you're almost certainly not going to get banned, right? Look, I know people who run gear check and have done so for years and don't get banned. It's probably a little bit like Final Fantasy. If you made like a really big deal of it and you just started saying, yeah, bro, your gear is dog shit and then kicking people, you're probably going to get banned for doing that. But I'm not going to lie. Like if you, if you, there are people who have run gear check for years and years and years and have not been banned at all. Yeah. So, I mean, that's how it is.
someone ping their coat of lessons. I created someone that matches the UI. I told them grats. I told them like that. Wait, wait, wait what? That is that. Wait. The, <laughs> is that really toxicity though, Master Liu? I feel like that's just. I, I, I don't know. I, I don't know. Like, I, is that really a big deal? Like, you go, like, oh, I made my legendary. It wasn't like, ah. Like, is that really a problem? I don't know. Nice. He told me he came with this build and it's privacy. I've got really good news for you, Rog69R. Um, any player who says that is almost certainly really bad at the game. Um, so, you have dodged a bullet, my friend, uh, because... They would have probably given you a build that is extremely bad, and now you don't have that, which is good news for you, because that means you can get a good build. Nice! So there is good news in that regard. Blobs floating, tier one. Very nice. Frog. Open the bounce, yes? Okay, sure, I'll do it. I got a heavy loot bag. You happy now? Yeah. <laughs> it's done. All right, is it time to read the news? Is it time to read the news, guys? Get a lot of flat for enjoying raids and harder content, I can tell, at least in my opinion. Um, I mean... That Guild Wars 2 has a bit of a case of play how you want, but not like that. Um, so the game is play how you want, but then if someone says, well, I want to play in a group that has full boon up time and high DPS and low downtime between each encounter, then people will say, no, you can't do that. That's elitist and toxic. Um, I mean, yeah. That does happen, um, to be honest. There is a reason um, why people organize their groups almost exclusively in private um, these days and don't really use the LFG nearly as much. Yeah. Exactly, I'm ordering a pizza. Don't pull the wasp on my back. Yep, that's, that can happen. So, I mean, yeah. What am I not getting here? Um, so... The thing is, is that meta builds aren't meta builds until someone comes up with them, right? So uh, I think uh, the best example of this would have been uh, Grenade Holosmith in um, PvP. Uh, Grenade Holosmith was not really known as a thing that existed. It, it became incredibly popular after Masters of the Arena because basically it turns out that uh, Power Hollow was really fucking good. Uh, Grenade Hollow was really, really good, especially into like the Firebrand meta. Uh, back then, but it wasn't really known about. So you wouldn't really find that build on any of the build websites because it, it didn't exist. It was only in Master of the Arena that you really started to see that Power Hollow dominate and then it became an incredibly dominant meta build. Yeah. What's this? Yeah. Have you heard about the new cosmetic inspection feature going tomorrow? They didn't know Guild Wars 2 Geary did it first. Well, I mean, arguably, this is a very... Wait, <laughs> Jesus Christ. For a one, it's a website. Two, Guild Wars 2 Efficiency definitely did this first as well before that. And also, Hack Add-ons did it even before Guild Wars 2 Efficiency existed. So, yeah. I, I mean, it is what it is. The comments is another meme. I'm not opening this image, but I'm opening it now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> DLL. Yeah, indeed. Yeah, I mean... Okay, so... This is actually the trouble with any new add-on or service that's going to exist. Like Guild Wars 2 Geary. I mean, Guild Wars 2 Geary is an interesting software project. But at the end of the day, it has absolutely no demand for it whatsoever. Um, because... The raid scene in this game is tiny. Uh, like, it's irrelevant. I, I hate to say it, but it's 
it's not something that's ever going to see widestream use. Also, it launched in the worst way possible because I think there was like a major security breach with it or something, which is not good um, uh, to start off with there. Not exactly ideal. Uh, and then after that, it's just... There's already really established products that exist out there, right? Like, nobody's going to start using Guild Wars 2 Geary because Guild Wars 2 efficiency exists. Uh, there's not really much of a selling point to move away from that. It's the same as everything. Like, realistically, and, uh, you know, Guild Wars 2 Wingman is kind of in a similar position and, like, stuff like DPS report. DPS and Guild Wars 2 Wingman have been around for so long that realistically they're incredibly embedded and the community isn't really energized enough for any kind of major switch it's just not gonna happen um at this stage because at the end of the day the community is very very small and also it's not dynamic there's not a lot of new people coming into the community it's all old people like you can have these really big cultural shifts if you have a big influx of new players but that just doesn't exist in like the guild wars 2 endgame scene and and won't either uh, as well. It, it, it doesn't and won't. Yeah. I'm keeping an eye on feedback for this feature in multiple platforms languages, including this one. So rest assured this conversation is part of the overall feedback. Discussing and disagreeing is fine and great. Name calling, bickering, attacking others because they share opinion, not fine or great. Honestly, good response. But to be honest, the only way this response can be better from Ruby is that she should say, um... If you're mad about your fashion getting uh, stolen, uh, cry more, right? Like, that should be the, the, <laughs> the actual response. <laughs> but Ruby is far too much of a nice person to do that, so that isn't going to happen. Uh, but it, it would be funny. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's very good. What the fuck is this shit? Nike. What about the players like me? How could you expect me to defeat bosses like Sue Wan? If Sanchez Vive induces more hardcore world bosses, I will never be able to kill it. My CC, my job is not CC. My job is DPS. Like, <laughs> this is obviously fucking edited, but it is funny, okay? I like it. This is not real. This is not fucking real, okay? It, it, you ha There's no way. I don't believe you even for a millisecond. It's not real, chat. Okay, stop believing this is real. Yeah. All right, we better do the news. I gotta go play some keys. Planix in the chat. Don't listen to them, chat. You're getting baited. If it's real, link that shit. Oh, wait, you can't. Boom. Man, you know... I am really tempted. One last thing before the news, guys. I am unbelievably tempted to actually make a tool for streaming. Okay? Because let me tell you this, guys. Um, as far as I'm aware, I can't actually find a good tool for streaming that shows all of my alerts in one place and both chats. So right now I'm just tabbing between YouTube and Twitch to read them. Um, there is like a semi-good solution called Caster Labs, but for some unhinged reason, it runs through a server. So the server goes down all the time and it stops working and I don't get it. It makes no sense to me why it's like this. Um, and their product is fundamentally non-functional. Because their server goes down and their server doesn't work. I have no idea. Honestly, it started to make me angry about how every single goddamn platform requires you to sign up for an account. It requires everything to be always online. Holy shit! What happened to downloading a program and it actually just worked? And you didn't need to like connect to 17 fucking servers um, for it to actually do anything. It's goddamn ridiculous. But I'm so unbelievably tempted to just make my own version of this because it doesn't exist it's actually insane they they use a server for you to connect to a fucking irc client why um it is unhinged yeah oh 
I do not understand. That's how it is. Is Discord for boomers? Well, I mean, it's Twitch chat as well. So, not exactly, but kind of, yes. Yeah. Uh, only players with shit gear are afraid of gear check because they don't want to spend 15 gold to get good gear. To be honest, you know what? I don't entirely agree with that, but saying that makes people angry and therefore I will say it, yes. Uh, if you're afraid of gear check, you are self-reporting and we all know it too. Like, you have green gear and you refuse to get exotic gear and you don't want to get gatekept. Uh, we all know that shit, guys. We all know it's true. Enjoy it. Agate sticks and dumps it somewhere else? Exactly, yes. And also shows, like, whenever someone subscribes on Twitch or whenever someone raids the stream or stuff like that. It, like, tracks all of the, um, you know, all of the, the events that happen. Or maybe someone subscribes on YouTube and so on. And I just don't have a good application for that. And as a result of that, it's really hard for me to keep track of the, the wonderful YouTube chat and Twitch chat simultaneously. The forbidden gear check. That's how it is. HS software project. Well, we better finish the last one first. Uh, but maybe it is. It might be time. Multistream.dll will be born. You know... The only... <sighs> the only thing is... And the only... I mean, hmm. It would be pretty good if you could actually run it from a web page. That's the only thing. I do like the idea of running a Twitch bot um, through a web page. But that that is not ideal for multiple reasons. I'm a little bit of a sucker for a good old-fashioned desktop application. But everyone is a web enjoyer these days, to be honest. I don't know. I have to think about it. Maybe I'll actually do that. Maybe I will. Maybe I can't be stopped. Anyway, it's time for the news, chat. It's time for the news. <laughs> I, I love this wording here as well. I feel like, dude, you know what's really funny? Is that this wording here unintentionally plays into people being mad. They're saying, this is this is actually a really weird way to say this. Oh no, this is quite poor wording, isn't it? Um, yeah. That should help level the playing field for new and aspiring fashionistas. Now, I know they didn't mean it that way, but the thing is, you could definitely interpret that as them saying they view it as unfair to new players that they can't copy someone's appearance. That's a very interesting way of wording that. That's that not... <laughs> yeah, if you take like a very uncharitable reading of that, which a lot of people definitely are, um, then yeah, it actually doesn't look good. It's a very weird way of putting it, to be honest. <laughs> Ah, incredible. Yeah. Unusual, my friends. Unusual. Yeah. Pay gems. Direct copy someone's look. I mean, you don't have to pay gems. It's free. You don't have to do it. it. Costs zero gems. It's all good. Let's see. What are all the quality? Legendary Armory, Wizard's Vault, Season 1. New and bonus week events, allied player visual effect toggle, granular post running options, character selection screen customizations, progress bar for meta achievements, guild hall game mode options. That is actually a pretty good one, to be honest. Filtering option the trade bus for skins you've unlocked, recent rook gobbler items. You know, th this, okay. This is weird to me because I feel like in every single post, ArenaNet say, hey, remember all that quality of life I've added? It started to get a little bit weird to me. They keep doing this. It's... Uh, I, don't want, I don't want to use the word desperate, but it, it definitely feels like we're doing something. Look, I promise you. We're, look, we're developing the game, guys. We're doing it. We're doing it. 
And then there's the teaser, guys. Look at that. That's X-Pac 5 coming right up. It's got trees in it. Spoiler. The game isn't dead. Yeah. Ghost Room is a competitive dynamic world. <laughs> I'm Wait. I, I think... Wait. I'm pretty sure they're talking competitive in terms of the game market there, I think. Um, and that is true. Yeah. Dynamic world that evolves with its community. We'll have more developments to share on this front as the team continues their work. Yeah. Do you the Guild Wars 3? I, mean, I think so as well, actually, Jasper. Yeah. I'm pretty sure they're just trying to say they're trying to reaffirm their commitment to Guild Wars 2, especially given the Guild Wars 3 news and just the doubts about the game in general. They're trying to say, yeah, look, we really are working on the game. We're really doing it. Look, guys, we're doing the thing. Incredible. Thanks for reading. I'll see you in the game. Josh Davis, game director, arena net leader. Incredible stuff. Yeah, look, I, they, I, they even double down on this. It's important to note this is a cosmetics focus feature. Inspection does not give players information about the rarity or attribute selection of any item, nor does it provide details about equipped infusions, runes, or sigils. Additionally, to preserve the competitive integrity of the PvP and World of Sword game modes, cosmetic inspection cannot be used to determine what weapons enemy players have equipped. Yeah. I thought the whole thing with Gilster was a hoax. No, 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 apparently not. Uh, well, well, I guess we don't really know, but... Doesn't seem that way anyway. Yeah. Competitive is a word in the English language, commonly used. I mean, that is true, yes. An unnecessary insecure pose? No, no, it, I, I actually disagree with that. I think if you're very cynical, you can be tempted to say that. But what they're trying to do here, like, okay, so let's think about what's going on here. Arena have just been walloped by a shareholder sharing the fact that they're doing Guild Wars 3 right um and they need this is obviously going to shake people's confidence that they're still committed to guild wars 2 what they're trying to do here is they're trying to demonstrate the fact that they are still committed to guild wars 2 and the game will continue to receive updates like that that's what they're trying to do here because they can't come out and just that they have to be a little bit politic here. They, they can't directly say, yeah, don't worry about that shareholder who completely fucked us from a PR perspective. Um, don't worry about it, guys. Still good to go. They have to be a, a little bit more indirect uh, with, with what they're communicating here, right? Like, this is them trying to do that, I think. Yeah. Yes. Who spoke up turn grasping at straws? I mean, that that it was a little bit of that. It was like he just blurted that out because the reporter was absolutely grilling him, which is extremely funny, but yeah, you know, that's how it is. Insane. Guild Wars 2 will one day have the best quality of life game that nobody plays. I know, I don't, look, if anyone thinks Guild Wars 2 is dead, you're, you're coping, right? Um, like, that's the, that is the reality, guys. You will, uh, you're gonna have to cope. Cope a little bit harder for that one. Guild Wars 2 is dead. There you have it, I said it. Guild Wars 2 is kind of dying in the East. Ah, Revelation 1992. The most lucid and sane of all Twitch chatters. Every second is the second of Guild Wars 2. None of you have permission to look at my fashion. Anyone who copies my fashion will face financial and legal consequences. All right. <laughs> All right, let's get this done. Come on. Introducing our latest quality of life feature, cosmetic inspection. That's right, gamers. It's the only gear check that matters. It is fashion inspect is the next kind of quality of life or in-game feature for Guild Wars 2. Here we go. A little bit of update and 
Spoiler alert, guys. Wow, look at this. A new location for the next expansion. You heard it here first. The new expansion has got trees in it. I bet you didn't see that one coming, but more on that a little bit later. Anyway, yeah, we've, uh, we've got cosmetic inspection, guys. Do not worry. It's not gear check. Nobody's going to see your green gear and your lack of relic and mismatched, uh, <laughs> mismatched runes or anything like that. But now you can actually stalk people. You can walk up to someone. You can right-click on them. You can inspect their fashion. And guess what? You can become them before their very eyes. I think, honestly, I kind of want to do that. I want to go up to someone in the game, inspect their fashion, and then turn into a clone. In fact, we should do that with like a full raid group. Like 50 people. We follow someone. Or we just we go up to random people in the in-game world and kind of copy their fashion and turn into them immediately. Just follow them around the entire open world. That's going to be good. That's going to be good. <laughs> <laughs> and you know what? Yeah, that's true. Like, I mean, this is a pretty cool feature, honestly. It would be it, one of the things that probably should have been in the game since the very beginning. I mean, honestly, I think gear check would even be good. But we're not talking about that. Like, uh, we don't want to get bogged down in some lunatic discussions about gear check today. We're talking about fashion inspector today. But you know what? Look, you know what we've got to do? <laughs> because I, I know this is going to sound insane to some of you, but people are actually, some people are mad about this. And to be clear, it is a tiny minority of players who are mad about this. But I have, I have to share some of these comments. There are way better. There's some really juicy comments on the forums as well. I'd highly recommend checking it out. There, these are amazing. On Twitter as well, actually, on the, the thread that ArenaNet posted about this. Really funny. People are big mad. Not many, to be clear, but it is still funny, even though their opinions are, at the end of the day, uh, don't really matter. It is uh, very funny to me that people are mad about this. I hope there is a disable option. As you've seen in the comments, not fair. People who spend hours on their look. Now everyone can steal my drip. Great. Now it will only take seconds for people to copy my looks that I spent hours coming up with. <laughs> I mean... I mean, <laughs> I mean, in all seriousness, I actually don't think that's going to happen very often. Because bear in mind, this feature exists in other games and people love their fashion. Wow. Seriously, my guild raids Mythic and trust me, I reckon over half of their game time is dressing up their little blood elves. Okay, or their Draenei. Right? Trust me, they, they love this stuff. Um... I think it's actually very unlikely that people are going to wholesale steal people's appearances. It will usually be looking for what's that weapon skin or, oh, that shoulder skin is kind of cool. Or, oh, what's that dye color, right? Th th that's actually what's going to happen. Like, people are not just going to, like, randomly steal people's entire appearances. And, and the idea of stealing an appearance is inherently ridiculous. It's a video game, guys. You don't own a skin. You don't, you don't own that. That's not how it works. But blah, blah, blah. Uh, very funny. Uh, I would highly recommend reading the threads if you are looking for some uh, light entertainment. But yeah, that's coming in the game. We can have a look at how it works. You can see here, you just click on them. Boom. Inspect cosmetics. You can see all of the dyes, all of the skins, all that kind of stuff. It's pretty cool. Uh, you know, it's pretty nice, isn't it? You know, look at that. It's a nice little uh, interface there. Uh, and of course, uh, in PvP and World vs. World, you cannot see uh, enemy players' weapons, right? Because that's information about the build, right? Otherwise, you essentially be kind of get, well. I'm not gonna lie; it's a, it doesn't really matter. Like by the time you can inspect someone, I'm pretty sure you can see their weapons. I guess you can't see their secondary weapon set, but I mean, yeah, it's a uh, nice. They were thinking about that as well. You, you, know, you can't just go and spy on people and counter their build or whatever, or figure out what exactly type of character they're playing as well. Bit of a reiteration on some of the quality of life stuff actually here as well. And yeah, honestly, the, the quality of life team has actually been doing a really good job. It's like these smaller updates that can really make the game better. I actually think one of the kind of underappreciated ones is the progress bars actually in Meta Achievements. That's actually a really nice feature to be honest. There's a lot of good stuff in here and they have actually been doing a very good job. Um, we've seen them kind of reiterate this a lot in a lot of their posts and there's a reason for this. Uh, I'm almost certain they're just trying to reaffirm their commitment to the game. They can't explicitly come out and say, don't worry guys, uh, I know that Korean shareholder completely owned us right uh, and accidentally leaked that we were doing Guild Wars 3 or at least in the planning phase for uh, Guild Wars 3 or something like that. Uh, but obviously they, they can't come out and say that and say, oh yeah, we're still committed to the game. They have to be a little bit more indirect about it. And that's kind of what this section is. They're saying, we're still working on the game, guys. Promise. Uh, so a bit of a funny one there. And a little bit of insight into what could be coming up in the future here as well. Actually, uh, of course, because we have content 
happening. Okay, and by, by content, I mean they're adding more pixels. Wow, look at this, guys. Thanks to DirectX 11, we've been able to increase the number of armature bones and lighting objects for new models and environments. Build full 360 degree skyboxes and begin using vertex animation or point level animation. Wow. I honestly, who knows what that means. I bet some nerds in the chat can tell us, but basically it's probably going to look a little bit better. The textures are going to be better in the new content. Uh, people are coping and saying they'll go back and update the old stuff. No, they won't. That will probably be a bit of a waste of time, okay? Uh, but it doesn't mean there might be some kind of cool graphical improvements uh, in future content, right? And very likely we're going to see some of that pop up in the next expansion. So a little bit exciting there as well. These enhancements not only pave the way for better visuals and smoother gameplay, but also ensure that Guild Wars 2 remains a competitive, dynamic world that evolves with its community. We'll have more developments to share on this front as the team continues their work. Very exciting. And, well, I mean, graphics updates are always good. Personally, I'd like them to uh, improve the content and release more of it. But, hey, beggars can't be choosers. I suppose in that regard, but hey, look at this. We do have one final extra bonus meme here as well. <laughs> yeah, they can go back and fix heavy legendary armor. They can go fix the textures on that. <laughs> but anyway, look at this, guys. I hope you're feeling suitably teased right now. Look at this. The new expansion is confirmed to have trees in it. And uh, it looks like this is going to be kind of a Tyrion themed expansion. It kind of looked a little bit like Ascalon to me. In, in particular, um, I immediately thought, actually, of this... Wait, what, what's going on here? I immediately thought of this particular scene, actually, from uh, Ascalon, actually. Guild Wars Prophecies. That's it, it, it was like, ooh, it kind of looks a little bit like that. Are we going to Ascalon? Are we going to some part of that area there? It looks a little bit like it. I don't know. But then again, when I loaded this up, I then realized, wait a minute, it, it's got trees and it's got hills. I mean, realistically, it could be anything, right? Like, uh... I'm sure people will manage to speculate a whole bunch of stuff about this. There is one interesting piece of information. This file, it was named... What was it called? It was called, like, Bog, right? Or something like that. This was, like, a... Uh, the name of the file was a Bog, essentially. So, there's something going on there. Maybe that's a little bit of a... Bit of a situation. You know, this could be a swamp or a Bog-themed... Uh... <laughs> A <laughs> bog theme zone happening in the, uh, you know, the, the, you know, the expansion, but who knows? Not really a lot to go on here, but hey, look, you know, the expansion, it does exist. It's a tangible thing. They're going to release the expansion this year, guys. It's crazy. You absolutely love to see that. But I'm sure we'll be hearing more about that because it's less than 30 days until the final update for Soto at this point. And we'll be hearing about the next expansion pretty damn soon. Uh, it will almost certainly be releasing kind of at a similar time of year to Soto. So in that you know, uh, late August, September, maybe a little bit later, a little bit earlier. We don't exactly know, obviously, uh, kind of window. So we'll know about that very, very soon. But yeah, not really a lot going on. It's like a little bit of a bonus feature, a little bit of a bonus meme there. And the entertainment of watching people get mad that you can follow people around and see what happens hat they're wearing so a little bit of a minor update here uh for guild wars 2 and that's coming out uh well tomorrow or probably today by the time you watch this wow how exciting is that you can go around in super adventure box and you can also stalk people's fashion simultaneously what a time to be alive my friends what an absolute time to be alive very cool stuff and yeah look you can even look guys you can either, look, find in the trading post. You can go and look up people's stuff and buy it immediately. You can, on the spot, steal their appearance. Absolutely huge. But anyway, that's the news. That's it. I'm out of here. Done. What do you think about this? Are you big mad? If you are big mad, please write a comment, actually, because I will read it and I will be entertained by it. But yeah, leave comments, subscribe on YouTube, follow on Twitch, watch the stream. You know, all sorts of things. You know, get all over the place. Go crazy. You know, be here, be there. Be everywhere, my friends. Enjoy. That's it. Yeah. Oh, that actually is interesting. Uh, I just noticed that this doesn't show infusions, does it? Ah, I guess it's because infusions have stats. Oh, because it would tell you that you've got ascended gear as well. And they don't want to show any any form of indication of what type of gear you've got. <laughs> oh, that actually sucks. Like, yeah, man. It would be, I, I think they might have to find some way to integrate infusions into this, actually. Because I feel like people really, well, yeah, people actually ask me a lot. In particular, because I've got the world versus world, like, mist infusion. People do ask me about this all the time, actually. Um, 
So yeah, that will be that will be cool actually if you could do that. That'll be kind of interesting. But yeah, I guess there's also some some stuff there as well. You can't preview uh, infusion, so I guess that could be a factor there as well. But that would be a really nice feature if they could show what infusion appearance that you actually have, right? That would be pretty good, I think. Uh, because I think those are things that are quite difficult to obtain and, you know, not immediately obvious what they're called, right? There's no easy way to look up what infusion effect, especially if you've got more than one. If you've got more than one infusion, it might be a little bit difficult to, um, to actually see, like, you know, which one is causing which effect, actually. So that would be nice, especially because infusions are a pretty important, like, endgame cosmetic in Guild Wars 2 at the end of the day. But yeah, that would be a nice little... Uh, extra feature i guess but yeah they need to make it so you can preview infusions there we go feedback has been given but that's it enjoy gamers thanks for watching i'm out of here boom we're done and with that we are done enjoy what server am i on i'm on uh, ruins of sermia right i'm logging in my battle is being weird now how ostentatious, indeed. Don't go stream well. I mean, I am streaming well. No React content. This is a React content free stream. Outside of reading uh, lunatic comments. Wait, so, wait, what is this? Someone had just followed me with this profile picture on Twitter. Hmm. What is that? Ah, yes. T Cranker, level 29 mage. Let's go. Was NA doesn't count on matter? Uh, wait, not at all, actually. I think the theory craft was pretty cool. Help me farm Crusader Enchantment. We're not getting Crusader Enchantment, Jess, so that's too degen even for me. Embrace the shadow. Let's go. What, Dune 2? Oh, I did actually, yeah. It was really good. I liked it. I did like it. Wait, Vivi's here on his mage? What the hell is this? Uh, mage, high key, season will be content. Yeah, I'm hoping to uh, actually play healer in high keys uh, and also uh, DPS in high keys. I'll probably be swapping out with Vivi on mage and he'll play tank. Uh, and then I guess I swap with Snizzle and play healer. Uh, the old June? I did. That, very, very odd. I don't really know, I don't really know what to make of that one. That, that, uh, particular film is fucking weird. A lot of the, a lot of the older June, um, uh, adaptations are very strange. Not really sure what's going on with those. But that's how it is. But no, I really like June. I was really impressed. Um, I liked it a lot. Nice. Fish full of very happy. Yeah, I was actually very pleasantly surprised. Uh, I'm very wary of video game adaptations, and honestly, a lot of, uh, honestly, some of the stuff, the prime originals are a bit questionable in general, like realistically. But no, I, I actually was really impressed. Uh, I think uh, it was very good. I enjoyed the show a lot. Uh, the characters are very likable, uh, I think. It's entertaining. Uh, the. Jux the, I think the world is pretty well realized too. I think the music's good. Like the visually, I think it looks quite good as well. Interesting story as well uh, too. Actually, some some uh, good content going on there. I liked it. Yeah, it was good. It was good. Halt people from streaming wider of the integrity uh, of the stream. No, it's not happening. Invisible Season 2 was also pretty good on Prime. Oh, well, there you go, then. Yeah. All right, here we go.
And Bimno got his wallet to 60. Will he break? Have you seen the char name? Yeah, his character name is I don't want to play this. Which is pretty big. Right, I'm inviting uh, Snizzle. Let's get him in him. Yeah, it was good. XED tree. What is this cartoon game called? It is World of Warcraft Dragonflight, is what it's called. Yeah, Clarkson's Farm is coming soon, actually. That will also be good. Oh, it should be good, anyway. Good content. Gromnak. Fuck is this? Hell Screams Downfall. Is this a, the real one, or is it an imposter? We don't know. Could be anyone. Do I need a new PC? I mean, I kind of do, to be honest. But I, I'm gonna wait. Um, I'm gonna wait to get a new PC. It's gonna be a little while. Boost my Shadow Priest? No, we're not boosting the Shadow Priest. Log on to your mains, boys. Let's go. Wow, well, is more furry than Guild Wars 2. It actually is more furry. Well... Actually, is it? I mean, it's a little bit furry. But to be honest, people in Guild Wars 2 are very furry. Like, Char is a furry magnet. In this game, look. You want to see what people like in this game, guys? Oh, yeah, look at Angels. Wow, look at his, uh... Look at this, uh, Body Type 2 Blood Elf, guys, okay? Wow, what a surprise. Angels made a new character and it's Body Type 2 Blood Elf? No fucking way, bro. That's crazy. There's just no way I could have seen this one coming. Oh, every single one of Jester's characters is Body Type 2 Blood Elf? No shot, bro. Okay, examine again for content. Okay, let's get over it. Let's see what we got. Uh, wait, isn't this the same? What's changed? The character's the same, no? Uh, I didn't... What, what's different? Turn around? Turn around and zoom in? Wait, what, what do you think this is? Some kind of, like, coom stream? What, what, what is this? And... It's the same. Right, I'm cleansing. I'm cleansing Vivi. He's cleansed. Yeah. Fashion content in WoW. I mean, there's a lot of fashion content here. You can't dye your gear like in Guild Wars 2, but there's a huge amount of different combinations you can come up with. Uh, like, people do some... There's some pretty advanced... Uh, pretty advanced uh, fashion in this game, that's for sure. People really go for this stuff. They love this stuff, guys. I'll make an orc warrior for Pandaland. Yeah, it'll probably be body type too, though, won't it? That's the thing. I know you, I know you, Jester. I know you love that stuff. Not wearing default mog. It's really you play body type two Draenei. You're exposed. You're not exempt from this. Also, new rule: everyone in the guild is banned from raid logging. By the way, guys. No raid logging. In the War Within, everyone is timing minimum plus 27 keys weekly. Raid logging is banned. It will be plus 17 keys by then, but still. Man, this is actually a very big day. Uh, if we can get a couple of keys, if we can do either 30 Rise or 30 Dark Heart. That puts us in range to get 3.8k next week. But we need a little bit more from our tyrannical score. We need just a little bit more from our tyrannical score. But we're really getting there. We've actually done a lot of 30s on tyrannical. We did Fall 30, uh, Blackrook 30. Waycrest I think we can do on 30 if we play exceptionally well. Um, Atal Lazar we should be able to do on 30. Uh, Rise is actually surprisingly doable, actually, on the 30. It's not impossible. Uh, and uh, Dark Heart is also doable on 30, and Everbloom is doable on 29. 
So yeah, we are really close. We need another 36 rating to get to 3.8k. I would really like to go for it, but it's difficult. It's very, very tough. Uh, we're getting to the point where gaining any rating whatsoever is really challenging uh, and won't be easy. We need, we'd want at least another key level. We need to get more 30s on the board here, 100%. Um, and that Everbloom obviously has to go to a 29, ideally both weeks, 29 too. So we've definitely got some work to do. We only have, um, we only have today and tomorrow to do it as well. So we're going to have to probably send it pretty hard tomorrow. And get some, uh, get some keys. Keys. Season 4 out soon? Yeah, Season 4 is actually very soon. It's the 23rd. So we've got a... It's... Man. Dude, it's fucking soon. We've got to get to work. Lunaria has requested to join your group. You know, seriously, this is just... This is the cancer thing about... um About uh, WoW, to be honest. There is actually too much content in this game. I'm not even memeing. There is literally too much. Let's see, Lunaria. Ah, look at Jester. Body type 2. Void Elf. He goes for the tentacle hair. Look at that, guys. Kuma setup, obviously. How long have you been playing? Well, I played since June this year. Are you happy with your M plus improvements this season? Honestly, not really. Um... I think we could have played a lot more. We didn't play as much because of scheduling and we got delayed by the winter break a lot over Christmas. Um, but it'll do. I think we are definitely significantly better at the game than we were last time. It took us a little bit of a time to... Uh, oh, last year actually, sorry. It took us a lot of time to kind of fix our comp and actually make sense of things. And we just didn't play as much. Um, so our skill level is not bad, but it obviously could be better. Uh, I think in situations like this, but hey, that's how it goes sometimes, right? Like that, it is what it is. Would you say it's easier to get into WoW than Guild Wars 2? Um, I mean, I wouldn't say it's hard to get into either of the games, to be perfectly honest with you. Like, WoW is probably a little bit easier to get into because the game is very streamlined. Um, but, I mean, I, I don't think it's a particularly important difference a lot most of the time. Yeah. But they're both very easy to get into, I think. Blast M plus all day and release. Yeah, I'm going to play a lot of M plus and release as well. Need to get geared as quickly as possible. What's the most fun part in WoW? Uh, just anything involving the combat, uh, pretty much. Uh, more content uh, equals uh, costly. I mean, yeah, I mean... A, a sub fee is definitely well. Thing is, it, if WoW was a free-to-play microtransaction game, it would probably earn more money than it does right now. Because free-to-play with MTX is pretty much the most money-efficient business model that could possibly exist. I mean, assuming it had the assuming it had the same player base anyway. We don't need that. Uh yeah, we don't need that. That's why I'm very glad it's a sub fee game. Content bloat, the reason why they brought WoW Classic. Also community wants this. Um yeah, it's it's actually really interesting. Is PB and WoW competitive? Uh yeah, they have esports for it, for arenas. I think there's some problems with like how the PvP plays out in the in the game. I think in particular solo shuffle has is a bit scuffed. Uh, but, like, certainly, like, the 3v3 arenas is competitive for sure. Such a unique mob listed position, it would not earn more from being free to play. Well, I mean, I, I just think that microtransactions in general is gonna squeeze more out of the average player than, um, than a sub fee would. But yeah, WoW is a little bit weird. You're not wrong there. Like, if there's any game that wouldn't benefit from it, it could be WoW. Because WoW... 
Uh, look, I will admit this, guys. I, I, like, when you play WoW, no other MMO matters. It's, it, it is such a weird experience. Like, n since I started playing WoW, the other games just fade into the background. It's just noise, um, to be honest. It is very strange. I don't think there's, um, I don't think there are other games like that, uh, really. Syrup. But yeah, like, this is the new strategy. I need to make a video about this. This is a good topic. Um, the thing is with, uh, with, with WoW is that they used to want you to only play retail, right? Like, we, we kind of saw this in Legion. We saw this in Legion and in BFA when they said, look, you guys are going to play WoW every day. Grind your artifact power. Grind your Azerite. Okay, do your fucking Torghast and your more dailies. Do it. Do it. But they realize that that's um, not a particularly sustainable thing to do. It, it just makes people hate your video game. So, World of Warcraft has actually done something very interesting strategically. Now they're saying, well, play the new retail season until you're done with that. Then go and play SOD. Then go and play Plunderstorm. Then go and play um, Miss of Pandaria Remix. Actually, very interesting. Um, because Blizzard have kind of identified something that I think was really obvious in the private server scene. Anyone who's... Um, who, uh, anyone who's played on private servers will know what I'm talking about. People are obsessed with fresh. Fresh servers. Fresh starts. Starting from the beginning. Which, if you think about it, is actually kind of weird from an MMO perspective. The idea that people are a little bit obsessed with starting fresh. But I think what World of Warcraft is trying to capitalize on here is kind of um, ARPGs. Right? Like, new PoE season. Right? New whatever people are doing, right? Like, new game, new season, like, start again, right? Go again. And you get to kind of have that progression experience every single time. They're really leaning into the seasonal aspect of it and throwing loads of different flavors of Warcraft at you, um, like SOD, like the remix, like Plundersorm and stuff like that, where you have this, like, fresh experience. That seems to be the strategy that Blizzard is going for, um, going forwards, which is kind of interesting, to be honest. It's a, a really interesting strategy to go for. Uh, for splitting the player base and catering to the second of players. Well, it, it's, it's not exactly... It, it's splitting the player base a little bit, but in my opinion, it's more like moving the player base from new thing to new thing. Because obviously there is going to be some level of crossover and cannibalism between these two game modes, but they're releasing them in such a way that it kind of fills the downtime, right? Like, retail is the main product, pretty obviously, but they're filling the gaps in retail with stuff like SOD and Plunderstorm and... Um, uh, mop remix which is a very interesting strategy they still want you to play wow every day but it just won't be the same version of wow every day it's going to be consistently different versions of wow all the time which i think is a pretty interesting strategy actually incredible yeah, it is an absolute uh, giga 200 IQ move. And it does mean that there is actually a ludicrous amount of content um, in WoW. Like, it's actually too much for me. Like, right now, guys, I'm playing WoW a lot. And I feel like, holy shit, I actually can't play WoW enough um, to play all of this stuff. It is insane. I want to level my ults. I want to learn DPS. I want to learn healer, but I also want to play SOD, and I also want to play Miss of Pandaria. And honestly, I would have liked to give Plunderstorm a try, but I just didn't really feel like I had the time to do that. And then it's the new fucking WoW season that's coming out, and then it's going to be the war within after that. It's like, damn, like, there is not enough time to play this game. It's actually insane. There's too much Warcraft, guys. There's literally too much WoW. It's out of control. Uh, the numbers of China servers coming back? I didn't actually know. Yeah, and you've got Cataclysm. They've got Cataclysm as well. I didn't even mention that, which I also actually want to play. I don't want to play it a lot, but I'd like to go and do the heroics at least, actually. I have very fond memories. Uh, of Kata Heroics being really fun, actually, playing my mage. And I just love the zones, actually. I really like the zones uh, there. I want to go play Vashir, you know? Let's go. Two million within two days later. Wait, what? Two million? That's actually insane. Dude, WoW is pretty big in China, I guess, huh? 
Does it feel like you need to do all this to be caught up? Oh yeah, for sure. Like all of it's optional. You don't have to do any of it. Yeah, because what they've done is, is they've they've decoupled all of their extra content and they're kind of like mini games away from the main progression. It's very intelligent. I think that Blizzard's strategy of going to this seasonal model with temporary game modes is really intelligent, to be honest. Um, it's very very good. It's a very good strategy, and I think that they're um, I think that the player base is actually going to like it a lot. Yup. You got Razageth Cutting Edge? Wait, what if it- wait. Yo! Cutting Edge, Razageth the Storm Eater. That's big. Wait, and you also got the, um, ahead of the curve, Sylvanas Windrunner. Oh wait, is this like- oh wait, this is not you though. This is scuffed eggs. This is fake eggs. Uh, you have, um, quantity, but what about quality? Um, look. <sighs> I'm not gonna lie. Blizzard content quality is really good. Uh, just straight up. It, it's, it's good. Yeah. The quality in this game is very high. Um, the only thing that I would really like to see them just make a lot better would be the open world content. It just, it, it's a bit scuffed, but it really doesn't have to be scuffed. It, they could make really interesting open world bosses and stuff, but they kind of choose not to, to be honest, or they just don't really care about it that much. But, yeah. Is the biggest esports in the world? The player base is massive. I mean, League is pretty... Uh, biggest esport in the world? I mean, what, is it? What's the biggest esport in the world, actually? That's a good question. I actually don't even know. It could be League. It's got to be like League, Dota, or CS, right? It's got to be something like that. It's like League, Dota, or one of those games. All right, everyone's here. Uh, what are we doing? Uh, I think we unironically do 29 rise warm up. I think that's what it is. 29 rise warm up. See what 30 we get and go from there. Maybe try the 30 rise after that. Uh, 20. Okay, hang on a minute. 29 rise warm up. Let's go. Into 30. Let's go! See, the game's like 5 billion things on, on screen. Yeah, I mean, the, you, there is a lot going on. Um, doing campaign is horrible content? I mean, is it though? I don't know. Like, maybe I'm just, because I kind of like leveling MMOs. I'm actually quite enjoying it. I, you know... I admit, I went into leveling my mage thinking it was going to be kind of painful, but no, I'm kind of, I'm kind of enjoying it to be honest. But honestly, if you just want to rush, just spam dungeons and like real talk, buy a boost. Uh, I would just, if I didn't want to level, just buy the boost straight up. Leveling's not for everyone, that's for sure. Just buy the fucking boost, get it over with. Uh, that's the, uh, that's the advice I can give you there. Boost. But yeah, dungeon spam, boost, job done. Love it. Oh, that's true. Yeah, you can pay gold to level people. I did that on all of my ults. I just paid some guys in the guild. I just AFK'd and they let, and they just like, boosted me, like killing open world elite mobs. Guys, my mage, this is the first character I'm leveling. I have never leveled before in retail, um, except for this character. I've either bought boosts or um, been boosted in game. So I'm new. I'm a noob to the leveling experience. But to be honest, it's quite good. I actually don't hate it. It is quite fun. Let's go. It's time. Sometimes, well, I'm just playing through the campaign. I'm playing through the BFA campaign. I'm enjoying the story, actually. It's quite nice. I like the story. There's always been some pretty cool cinematic moments when Jane is on the ship and uh, I presume, well, uh, when the kind of like, she's hallucinating Dalen Proudmoore. That's pretty good. Bit of a Warcraft 3 callback for me as well because you kill Dalen Proudmoore in Warcraft 3. You just go to Dragon Isles now, it's kind of dry. Yeah, yeah, because you because it will immediately shove you to Dragonflight, right? But the thing is, you won't, like, finish. 
I won't be done with BFA by the time I'm 60, right? Not even close, actually, because you'll play through like the end of the campaign in BFA, and then it's going to say, go do Dragon Isles. But I kind of want to play through all of BFA first and do like the, the other patches that they added to the game later and get you get into the story. It's going to be really fucking weird, uh, to be honest. Like the, the, it is weird. Drustvar is goated. Drustvar is indeed goated, yes. Nice. Yeah. <sighs> nice. Wait, wait, Frosty Alex is back? Wait, what the fuck? Jesus Christ. <laughs> okay, well, I mean, let's see how that one goes. He's back. Right, let's do this. Get to the level up campaign. There's a lot of max level campaigns. Well, that's what I mean, right? Yeah. You won't even. You, there's gonna be so much content you just don't play. Let's go. Man, this key is hard, dude. This is a hard key. Hopefully we don't deplete. I really want to try this on 30, though, as well. I, I do believe in our ability to do it. We'd have to really crank, though. We'd have to... It would have to be giga clean uh, to try and pull that off, that's for sure. Here we go. Man, if we miss 3.8k IO by like 10 rating, I'm gonna cry, dude. I'm actually gonna cry. It's gonna be close. It's gonna be very close. And if we can just do, if we can get 31 fall and 31 black rook. That will be about another 18 rating. Well, yeah, probably about another... No, that'll be 20 rating, I think. Oh, it's tough. It's really tough. Then we get the Everbloom for another 10 rating. It would only be 9, though, I think. So that'd be 29 rating. Man, it's going to be really tough. Enable card comp. God comp. It's time. No lust. Joel. Incredible. But yeah. You know, ah oh man. I'm trying to make this happen, by the way, guys, because you know what? There is too much wow, anti wow circle jerk on the internet. Okay? And. I am a contrarian, so I must counter jerk. Um, Asmongold said that WoW only caters to the 0.1%, not the casual player base. And I want to play through all of the casual content in the game to show how much of a lunatic statement that really is. Because um, I'm pretty sure this game has way more casual content than like every other game. Okay, like. <laughs> Because, bro, the campaign is so long. I'm, I think I'm, I'm about, um, I'm about five hours. No, about, about six hours into the BFA campaign. I'm not even halfway through. Um, I'm not even like, I'm not even halfway through like the, the first bit. Like, you know, the, the three-parter. I'm not even like halfway past like the three-parter bit. It's not even close. Like, <laughs> And the thing is, that's not even the side quests, by the way. What about all of this shit that you can do, right? And, you know, I'm skipping all of, like, the side quests. I'm just playing the campaign. 
What about all of this? And I, I think, I, yeah, th there's like a million quests you can do everywhere. Yeah. 4K rating should be your goal. I mean, it will be, yeah. Keys. Yeah. Keys. Keys. It's time. 29 rise. Wait. Guys, I'm in the- Abindo is incredibly ill. I'm in the phase where I can't swallow. I can't eat food and I'm sucking on cough drops all day. My taste buds are dying. Hmm. That's not ideal. Do you believe in the 3.8k dream, Vivi? I mean, yeah. Let's go. PhD should be fine. I think Rise is fine as well. I mean, I think Rise 30 is going to be really tight on the timer. I think it's kind of pushing the comp, though. Yeah, it's, well, I don't, it's like I the limit of the comp, I, don't, I, don't, I, I don't, Is it limit to the comp, though? Is it? Well, could you do 31? We have, like, perfect play. With perfect play, could we do 31? Hmm. With perfect play, I feel like you could, yeah. Maybe? Yeah, maybe. Maybe with absolutely perfect play. Because, I mean, the thing about it, I'm running Cheat Death, if I run, and I'm running Rage Heart. If I run double DPS Trinket, that's another 20k DPS single target on every boss. Yeah. So, theoretically, if I, I don't, because I don't need Cheat Death or Rage Heart to survive if I play perfectly. So, if I play perfectly, I can run another 20k DPS single target. I mean, fuck it. I could even run Soul Furnace, right? I could run for, like, another 8% single target on Soul Furnace. So there's more damage on the table, right? Uh, for everyone yeah. here, I think. I honestly you just play perfectly. Oh, the gym was good, by the way, uh, Fine Gs. I'm actually getting into it now. Stop being fucking useless! Yeah. Yes. Also, Renji in the chat. Yo, Renji, will you stream WoW? You need to start streaming again, dude. Like, seriously, you stream not streaming is a goddamn crime against humanity. Nice. What are the classes in WoW? You can, I mean, there's a whole bunch of them. You can be, well here we've got, I'm a demon hunter, Snizzle is a monk, Vivi is a paladin, Abindo is a warrior, Rated is a mage. But you can be a druid, you can be a shaman, uh, you can be a death knight, obviously you can be a hunter, you can be a warlock, you can be a priest. All sorts of shit going on there. I think that's all of them. Is that all of them? Or I missed that. Oh, Rogue. You can be a Rogue too, but no one cares. Fuck Rogue! Boom. Oh yeah, and you can be a Scaly. You can be an Evoker. Yeah. You can play Augmentation Evoker. Hmm? Okay. Vivi mains Org. He's already- I mean, he's got the Legendary, right? Mice doesn't have the Legendary. Yeah. You do. Oh wait, actually, hang on. Um, we need to boost Mice's Druid so we can get all the portals for this. We can do that when in some downtime. We need to do every key from. Okay. I need there a you go. boost. You all need right, a boost? Please. I guess we, we yeah. could play on ults, actually. We could do that, to be fair. And boost Mice. He will aug us. Wait, no, I think he's playing, well, he's playing Druid, so he won't aug us. I like how Abindo is actually dying. Also... Snizzle is a furry, by the way, guys. Look at that. Again. Again. Worgen body type 2, chat. Vivi is also Worgen body type 2 now. Whoa. <laughs> I mean, that's why he's playing Druid, right? He's yeah. going to go cat form and... Yeah, he's and stay crazy. cat form. And voice comes. Yeah. You can't be dog form, can you, though, actually, as Druid? You can, you can be a bear or a cat. Yeah, dog form is shaman. Yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. You can be ghost wolf, right? So you can be dog form. Yeah. Wait, why is yours like transparent? Right. That's interesting uh, actually. Satoi. Sky mirror image. Yeah, I'm just using this thing. Yeah. It's cursed oh, yeah. to have oh, one glaive and a fist weapon. Bots. I actually agree, not having double glaives on Demon Hunter is a bit scuffed. But I don't do transmog in this game, Renji. I, I, these, uh, every skin I have is vanilla. I don't do any transmog. 
Inspector's cosmetics. Okay, I'm gear inspecting Vivi, guys. Here we go. I think... You know what's actually funny, guys? Vivi has one of the highest item levels in the entire game. No joke. He's like top 15 or something I'm for top, Yeah, top like 10. Yeah, in the entire game. And the only way I could uh, increase fuck. it is uh, 496 Augury. Then I would be like... Well, the highest you could be. The highest possible item level. That's crazy. And we also know I'm top prior on 496 Augury, which is... Nice. Dude, honestly, I'm prior. It's, uh, it might even be, it'll be giga value on me, actually, for, uh, the, uh, for uh, fall. Boom. There you go. I run Signet Brand and, uh, Signet Brand and Augury on full Tyrannical. Boom. We have ascended, though. Our rating is actually pretty good. We have one week to push all the way to 3.8k. 31 Fall is free. 31 Blackrock is doable. 31 Atal is also doable. So I think we have three 31s we can do. And that would basically be enough. Then we just need the Everbloom to 29. And that would uh, get it done. <laughs> this is very sexy. There you go. Oh yeah, you're like a, a Shadowlands mob, I think. If Tesla plays Arcane, 31 Atal is free. Well, I mean, Rated is I'm breaking. Never doing that. Yeah, I mean, he, he's, I am not doing that. he's gonna delete his mage after we're done here. He has been fully yeah, broken instantly. by mage. So, yeah. He's running and hiding in Shadow Priest instead. You know, he is mentally broken. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is this? <laughs> Undead character over here. Some kind of a. Uh, Lich style creature. It's uh, Maldraxxus gaming. There we go. Acolytes, guys. Yep. Incredible. Shadowlands, the best WoW expansion yep. by far. Yep. Objectively. Objectively, the best WoW expansion. Thoughts are trying to yoink your mythical while forgetting about the one in my bags. Wait, what? You already had one and you tried to steal mine. That's actually extremely funny. Wait, so you, wait, you already had it and you just weren't using it. Nice. Incredible. It's pure is actually raid logging. He had two vaults that he didn't open. Wow. Really? Shadowlands? No. Dude, I like how it look. It's actually triggered the WoW PTSD in the chat because I should. Uh, guys, I didn't even play Shadowlands, okay? <laughs> I was also being sarcastic. What? Yeah. Sarcastic? I'm not sarcastic, bro. Best goddamn expansion in the game. <laughs> Don't at me. Renji. Shadowlands Season 4 was unironically 10 out of 10. Well, there you go. Renji. Renji is, uh, he's known for his good takes. <laughs> Guys, what if we keep playing keys and it drives Abindo to an early grave? Have we thought about that? Like the, you know, kind of what's going on here? What if he actually dies? <laughs> and we just saw him. We just saw him, then he becomes a DK as well. I mean... I think we're all uh, one foot in the grave. Yeah. Like Vivi has two hours of sleep each night. I'm dying to mage. You know? I'm dying to mm. mage. Vivi is modding. Yeah. Or I mean, uh, Snizzle. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Snizzle is. Uh... Okay. Cone. Yeah. Draubcom. Sepulchre was my favorite raid tier. I'm pretty sure I'm really lucky I didn't start playing in Shadowlands because I'm pretty sure my guild would not have survived Sepulchre. Which, uh, yeah. <laughs> I feel like, you know, Holondris might have won. It's possible. You, you didn't even experience Holondris, mate. Come on. Well, that's what I mean. I, 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 I look at that raid and I go, huh. I'm not sure if we would have made it through that. <laughs> To be honest. You think seats are... <laughs> <laughs> 10 second bombs, man. Yeah. And that's for like the entire fight, right? So it's it's like, imagine if yeah. seeds... It's seeds, but for the entire fight and also a shorter timer as well. Yeah. 
maybe would have beaten uh, Halondras, but the thing is, like, you've got two... There's two more, like, fucked bosses after that, right, as well, so it's, like... Yep. It's not over. And honestly, uh, that fight looks, like, so good. Oh, yeah. I wish I could play yeah, it. Look, maybe um, they'll do, um... Shadowlands well, yeah, remix. Like, let's go. Oh, yes. Shadowlands classic Shadowlands remix. Let's go. Yeah. It's time. Shadowlands classic. I give it Regalon and Draenor. Pretty cool. Warlords of Draenor. You want garrisons back, Renji? You like that shit? He probably does, actually. Undead. Let's go. Test limit. Urtle. Mage. Hmm. I'm playing this key as this. Yeah. Dude, that, wait. Look, the fucking legendary. Oh, look. Wait, the right. turtle is using the legendary, actually. That's crazy. You've equipped the weapon. <laughs> Wait, does he have Shimmer? Oh, yeah. Uh, right that has Shimmer equipped right now. He believes he is a 0.1% mage. That's big. I'm playing Shimmer. Shimmer. <laughs> He's deluding himself. I mean, I am. I mean, he actually is. Mage. That is true. He is top 0.1% mage. Statistically, that is true. <laughs> Do you enjoy playing Mage on Farak? Right. Hmm. Do you want the, the honest answer? Yes. Maybe. Yes. Wait, he actually does. Wait. I actually kind of like that, yeah. Wait, so are you, I mean, are you actually, wait, are you not breaking to Mage then? Like, you're unbreaking now. No, of course not. <laughs> Maybe you main Mage next season. And I played a bit of Destroy, it's pretty fun. Yeah? Or Mega Rain of Fire. Uh, you don't even have a lot of haste yet. He's thinking about oh, look, Sinil's got an umbrella. Look at that. Yep. Boom. Mm. Very fancy. Stylish black parasol. Feeling fancy and ready to float down safely in case of a fall. <laughs> there you go. Mage main. Lock him in for the war within. Yeah, you can be a Frostfire Mage or something, right? You've got that. I'm waiting on the uh, the other thing, uh, Sun Fury. Oh yeah, Sun Fury could be good. Yeah. Is that uh, Arcane and Fire? Is is that one? Yep. Uh, I think so. Yeah. That could be interesting. And you know what it means, though, right? It just means that every class is going to have like another three keybinds. That's what's really going to happen. Uh, are they? Like they're mostly um, replacing existing abilities, right? Or yeah. buffing them? Oh, and I guess so. Who's maining org? I mean, we actually have two org mains in the guild, right? Guru mains org and um, Arnaz mains org. So, we actually have augmentation of Oka mains. We're in business. And yeah, Mice is coming back too. Mice is gonna uh, main org. We're gonna boost him on his druid, but he's forced to play org in raid. Oh, I think Abindo has actually died. I'm yapping with Sizzle. Which, to be honest, is fair enough. Hmm. He is very ill right now. He had to AFK mid-key yesterday from what I can only assume was Double Dragon. Yep. Dog edition <laughs> as well. Dog edition. That, without context, that does sound worse, by the way. That sounds very bad. <laughs> Double Dragon dog, dog edition. Dog Warts edition. <laughs> Wait, what the hell is this? Snizzle and Vivi are erotic role-playing. <laughs> the hell is going on here? <laughs> just, a, just a couple chilling. Yep. There you have it. Dogwarts. Yeah, we, we actually... The, the reason why Wraith had even played Mage was... We, we basically had Mage Warts, right? Like, would you be willing to play Mage to qualify for TGP, right? That's the question. <laughs> and that's why Vivi is playing Mage next season. Because his answer to Mage Warts is yes. If only he said yes this season. 
How many days did Vivi play Mage for before he actually immediately re-rolled to Rat? Two it, hours. It wasn't that long. It was like I think it was one... like two weeks. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, sorry. I didn't no, re-roll to Red. I didn't, one play, week. I didn't play Red before. So yeah. <laughs> it was like, like one I, week. I started the season. I was Mage. Just saying. Fucking Night Elf dance, man. Look at this shit. The game is infested by Kumas. By Blizzard. Like you're still holding the the parasol with the with the yep. dust as well. Um. <laughs> Look at that. Vi <laughs> Wait, what? What have you? Vivi has frozen himself. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> what? It's a potion. <laughs> Oh man, that's good. I like that there's so many just weird things you can do in this game. Like all the toys that there have go. been added to the game. He is frozen. He is a rock. Deep stone oil. Unable to move or act. You can, however, still blink. Let's see if that's true. Is his character still blinking? Hmm. I'm not sure if it is. That item it might be a lie. Vivi is the same height as me in real life. Oh yeah, oh wait, X is going Night Elf? Like, this has convinced you? You're going for it? Like, you want to play Night Elf now? <laughs> and what? He's been converted from, I mean, he plays Draenei right now, so he's just, you know, he's moving from one to the other, I guess. <laughs> the facial expressions on the Night Elf are very funny. Like, <laughs> Someone animated that, and it's extremely funny to me. Abindo's actually dead, though. Unlucky. Yep. Oh, he's in. I mean, he's here actually. Oh wait, no. Maybe he was already here. I think he was already here actually. Oh, he was. He was there. Unlucky. And then he. Yeah. The game is so goofy sometimes. Wow, is this really weird type of goofy where it will go from goofy to Farak mocking um a dragon for murdering her children mid fight? Like, like it's um, yeah. It, it's it, it's weird sometimes. <laughs> I'm opening it. Yeah, right. Holy shit. What's the name? I don't know, bro. I'm just pressing all my toys. I have so oh, many random You're a shit. tree. Holy. Wait, you're the Everbloom boss. Oh shit. Huh? You are with a bark. With a bark. With a bark. Let's oh, go. Okay. How does the passive DPS ratio work on Night Elf? It just it just flips between crit and haste or something, doesn't it? Um, it's scuffed. So. Touch of a loon. Oh yeah, one percent haste during the night, one percent crit during the day. Insane, massive role play. Druid has a talent like that as well. Yeah, it, it's um, you get damage or verse, right? Don't you? I think that's something yeah, like yeah. that. Yeah. Yep. Worst DPS race. I mean, I think I have to go to Blood Elf, I think, next season, actually. Because, um, you can, like, dispel the shield, right, from the... from some of the mobs in Knockered. And there's, I think, there's some... Yep. I think in Ruby Life Pools as well, there's, like, a dispel thing. Yep, Ruby. That yep. you can do. I mean, we have Master Spell. And Warlock has a single flag spell. Yeah. But, I mean, like, having AoE dispel on Racial is pretty good, right? If you don't need meld, yeah. then and maybe you need meld yeah. on tank for misery skips or something. But we have mind you, Mike, too, yeah. so yeah, I don't know. And it's not bad. Gate you still can get do most skips as well. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Yeah, we have yeah we have gate actually. Yeah, that's a good point. And it, I mean, two percent dodge is not bad though, especially on tank. Just two percent. Uh, and you got oh, two. Yeah. I mean, honestly, this one's pretty good. Two percent dodge and two percent movement speed. That's actually quite nice. Bad to have. What time zone, though? I actually have no idea how the day and night works. I, I mean, I assume it's just server time, basically. Yeah, it's server time. Yeah. I, I don't know when's the limit, like, between night and day, but... It's probably 10 p.m. Incredible. Look at this, guys. Nature resistance. Reduces nature damage taken by 1%. That's huge. 
And I wonder if that's ever saved me. Probably has at least once. What is the gearing I'm in good. WoW? I mean, you just play games. You play the game and you get items. This is actually one of the most scuffed things that... When I was leveling my mage, for about level 1 to 10, every item that I got from a quest was, like, identical to what I already have. So, like, I was, I was getting quest rewards, right? And I had boots that had one armor, and the quest reward would give me boots that also had one armor. So it was just completely worthless. And then once you get to, once you get a couple of levels done, then it starts giving you items that have stats on them and stuff. Any gameplay happening soon? Uh, yes, Abindo is back. Let's go. It's twenty nine rise. Let's go. We'll do the 29, then we'll have a go at the 30. Uh, and then we'll go do Dark Heart afterwards, I think. We have two Dark Hearts, so we can... We have two tries to do it on 30. It is possible, my friends. Let's go! Alright, let's do this. Incredible. Uh, try out Wild Board of Guild Wars. Well, I mean, kind of, yeah. I didn't really see. I didn't really see like a long-term future in streaming content creation for Guild Wars Two um, or playing the game really. All right, I think we're good to go. Uh, actually, check builds by the way, guys. I am the build week aura. Check your build. Check your build, chat. Well, not chat. You guys. I have the right build. Rated. Yes, build still. Ready check. And uh, mass poly mode. I'm checking. Ah, uh, yeah. yeah, mass poly. Mass poly. Let's go. Is rated prepared? Do you have the right build rated? No, I don't know what to remove. He, wait. Real Tempest Barrier, as always. Yeah, Tempest. But I like the barrier, though. Yeah, remove it. <laughs> <laughs> remove it. <laughs> remove it, rated. Okay, I'm ready. I'm ready. Pull ten. Here we go. Five. It is uh, Five. rated's key. Three, two, one. Send oh, the shit. key. Yeah. I just double dragon. <laughs> Double dragon. And then next on purple. Gripping everything. Silence. Orbing. Orb. They're getting orbed hard. I'll move them in front if we can. Yeah. Silence. They're getting orbed again. Orbed. Okay, dude, the orb is actually owning them, holy shit. Okay. I have 10,000 bleeds. Whew. I almost pulled more by accident there. That would have been... Slightly awkward. I get some of the bolts if we can. Oh! Oh! What? The volume on that was. Uh... No, there was uh... radiance on the shore. 
Oh. Ready? Oh, no, that's going to go off, though. Yep. I've cheated. Okay. I'm going to wait for a silent sigil here. Then I want to pull the patrol. Good. Kill the mage. Get rated? Yeah, eliminate rated from the game. He must be cleansed. Right, handle this. I'm out of here. I need to go get the snakes. I'm doing this kick. I might charge on me actually, won't it? That's on rated against me. We pull this with boss. Good. I'm dead to three mobs, guys. Boss, you cannot stop what is infinite. Watch the frontals on these still. Feel Sparks, the bait. Will we tank frontal next? I'll get outwards with this. My blows are Good. And it's going to be soak next. So, and tank frontal again, and I'm getting knocked towards the middle. My strike is true. Good. We you siphon the oath stone. What's going on? The yeah, almost just went through me. He lost to an orb. Is that what we're, I'm hearing? It? Sparks. Yep. Tank frontal. We soak next. And then tank frontal to the middle here. My blows are infinite. Good. Infinite grant me strength. We're playing the opposite side next. Uh, yeah, we are. Box. So, darkness on you. Bait or tank frontal next. It's bait. The tank frontal next. And then it's going to be bait next, then middle. Middle next. Good, let's go. Get your orbs.
There's one. Oh, I got it. An infinite vision guides me. I nearly died. Your greatest fears realized. Behold your annihilation. Tank frontal next. My blows are infinite. Soak next. Apart, you are weak. And then tank frontal to the middle. Try and kill him if we can. We might be able to. Are kill him! Come on! Oh, oh, let's go! Nice. That was good. That's actually slower than our best somehow, though. I guess our trash wasn't quite as fast. Unlucky. Okay, let's fix this. We just need to. Uh oh. Move down, you fucker. Come on. Don't die. that we really need to use anything here we can just play I think let's go onwards making it I've made it I'm through boom where's the trash I have to wait for the trash getting through the mini game I'll summon the dragons they're on their way let's go open the rift wait Omni CD says you cheated now wait what look like now I didn't yeah, cheat no I cheated to the rift hours. okay here we go I cheated death. You might want to launch. <laughs> oh yeah, he lost it for himself. That's fine. <laughs> Rated, what are you doing, bro? I don't know. He's trolling. Sage player. Are you too fast or something? I don't know. Well, I mean, yeah, we are, we are fast, I guess. I thought you said we were slower. We are slower, but I mean, maybe the timing was just different. I mean, we got through the mini game quicker. Uh -huh. Rated strolling. You know what I'm ready for? For all of us to roll 30 rise as our first key next uh, week. That's going to be good. I'm looking forward to that. Okay. Yeah, I read it fast. It went off. Uh, yeah, we need a range kick on that. I can. Someone else. I'm silencing. I'm silencing. Well, I can do next. Stinzel next. I open the next. Then what next? Yeah, I got it. In next. Stinzel. Uh, rated. Uh, pull the next mage. I can get first. 
I get second. Then it's uh, since are after me. Then a window. And then uh keep up. Put the dog. Me next. Bloom. Stizzle. Then a bindo. We are through. Do you want me to get the phone? Yeah, grab the next one. Yeah, if you can, yeah. Yeah, just grab it. Wait. He failed. Oh, didn't have any charges. Oh, okay. It's fine, I got him. Hold on. Read it first. I'm next. Steve's on next. Wait. What the fuck He's still in some sand. Oh, sand? I was going to say, I was almost uh, certain I had going off, everything, right? Yes. It's fine. Yeah. Can pull the next mage as well, to be honest. I think it's fine. Just get the burns, I can live everything else. It's fine. He's coming. Bro, it's like a million deviations just randomly running in. Uh, if the RP is startable now, after, after the first mage we have here dies, we can start the RP. Yeah, it should be startable now. I think so, anyway. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, that's good. We can just kick this one and move to position. There's a couple loose ones here. Kill the mage, and we can just kill this stuff and then move through. Yo, plenty in the chat. Let's go. It's time. Millennium Aid. That's all I'm gonna say. It's my only commentary, is Millennium Aid. Mm. They are silenced. I don't wanna start moving. You know, I wanna I wanna get in there. Millennium Aid, let's go. Kill that shit. Yeah. Get the fish bolt volley. Fish bolt. Stopping. Fish sticks. All right. Let us practice our Morchi gameplay. Let's go. Pulling now. Wait. We didn't drum, by the way, because we just got lost now. Oh my god. No. I thought you were drawn, so I lost it for myself here. <laughs> I thought I drummed. Well, it's I mean, yeah, it's, <laughs> it is what it is. Uh, it's Star. Five, four, three, well, I mean, two, I guess we're going to have one. a fast Morchi kill. <laughs> we're fresh. We are giga fresh. We'll rate it, forget how bass pull buff works. Alright, we're moving in. Whoa. Moving in now. Pixel stacking. Okay, I'll grip. And then you no. probably... Oh, that is bad. Grip and then misery. I, I, you, I, you, have tw you have 20 seconds. No, it's gonna break, so let me... Re-misery. Re-misery if you can. Uh, hang on one sec. Got it. It's done. Yeah, it's Five, screen. Four, three, yeah, misery, yeah, yeah, meteor this. misery runs out in ten. Really? You did forget. I knew it. What do you mean forget? Misery Cheap. out in three. Gripping. Uh, yeah, right. I don't know. Uh, it should despawn it's, in uh, five. Ten. It should. It should be fine. Just don't touch them. Don't. Touch. It, it should despawn. They're gonna despawn now. That you need to get them afterwards, though. 
Okay, I can grip them and then you have to get them. It's an insane Big. there. Okay, we got him. Don't hit him, guys. They're quite close. Maybe we want to move. We've got a frontal. I oh, know we have more Morchies anyway, so we, we just automatically move. Okay. Uh, it's Moon. Let's jump. Five. Look Four. at the. Don't break the uh, more cheese, guys. Two. Or the ads, One. rather. Don't break the ads. Watch the frontal here. I'll shuffle a little bit. Throw it away. It's ads are respawning in two. I can do grip into misery to give you some time. Some might break here. Grip and then misery. Okay, good. Yeah, then misery. So you have 20 seconds. Spot. I don't have anything with this actually. Yeah, we just sold. Yeah, we need to like solve at some point. I can grip them. I mean, they got hit now, so we need to solve. I mean, yeah, they're just gonna Five, go off. It's fine. Four, the three, boss is dead. Two, one. Easy. Fucking free. Hello. Okay. Yeah, that was uh, unlucky. Unlucky. My just uh, yeah. like, dropped on him. So last. Yeah. It was also an unfortunate last timing. <laughs> was it? I mean, I don't know. We still get it on the last boss. Like we're gonna get it. In yeah, phase we don't one get it. We don't get. The, I guess. I guess it's not terrible. We just don't get it on the tank. Yeah. I Wait, still have lost for the tank. For do we do we miss a lust actually? Is this, or is it going to be? I guess it's the same amount. Isn't no, it? no, it's the same. It's the uh, yeah, it's the same. I think. Yeah, maybe lusting Morchi isn't bad then. I guess, I guess the tank is slow though, honestly. Yeah, tank. It's getting good with lust. Well, we didn't. No, I guess the issue is we didn't lust on the dragons, right? That feels really bad. No, we are missing a lust, aren't we? Aren't we missing one? Because we didn't lust on the dragons. We would normally lust the dragons and oh, the yeah. tank and end boss. So we're down a lust. Yeah. We are cocked. It's over. It's over. It's beyond over. There is no point in even continuing this key. Alright. We're good. Let's go. Deplete. <laughs> I pulled the tank. Mortar. It's on Snizzle. Oh, sorry. I thought it was on. Oh. Yeah, you can't trust uh, who it points at. Yeah. It, it sometimes points at people. It, it, yeah, it won't always point at the person who it's on. It's on Snizzle again. Can I get it? Oh, wow. Can you melt this thing? Uh, I don't know actually. Maybe um, it can see stealth. I think so. Sappers. I have grip. Gripping. They are gripped. It's on sizzle again. It loves you. Hopefully, we skip the next uh, set of sappers here. There we are, easy. Big. Huge. I think, yeah. Purple. I have orange. Holy. Oh, we have another CR. Yeah, yeah. I'm doing it. Yeah, for my bin. Oh, is it that is unfortunate. Yeah. It just like this cast sudden right as Ethan gets young. Yeah, that's yeah. That that's not that, yeah. I mean, we just see him again, right? Like we're losing time here. Yeah. 
Uh, yeah, we have even one. We have one more. Yeah. yeah. It's been pretty clean so far. Oh, one's gonna go off. I got the. I got the kick on the big guy. I don't trust rated because I don't trust ranged DPS players. It's a single kick. Yeah. That's too much for most ranged DPS players. Maybe all ranged DPS players. <laughs> Let's go. Oh. I do have nothing for this first decapitate. This is gonna be fun. I am fine actually. Ads incoming. Take on the ads. Grabbing the axe thrower. Stunning. Yeah. Next ads. Ads. Oh, nice, it died instantly. Just kick the, uh, the warlock and we're good. Pump. Ads incoming. Axe throws in middle, just stunning it. Blast. Axe is dead. Gripping. Oh, the immolate one off, I think, there. Yeah. Bomb the boss. Gripping. I'm silencing the other caster. Oh, immolate went off for me. It's pain. It's dead. It's far gripping. Yeah, I got it. Time still looks good. Stun the axe guy. Boom. Oh, it's good path. Go run. Run. No, I was gonna pull no. it up. No. I'm going for it. Fuck you. I'm yeah, in. you can, but. Oh, look at that. I am the speed lord, dude. I am just. Oh. Speed god. Wait. I oh, fucked up. Uh, just don't release. Don't release. Don't release. Oh, wait. Nice. No, no, I'm not. It's fine. Yeah, it... I mean, yeah. It's die. It's die. Yeah. It's fine. Yeah, yeah. It's fine, because I can, I can go through. I can't believe you guys died to the yeah. pendules. You guys are literally yeah. dead. You guys are dead to the pendules, man. Yeah. That's actually crazy. I'm double dragoning. Pendules. I'm in vision. Let's go! Now when the portal is up. Yeah, I'm going through now. My weapon broke mid boss. Wait, wait, wait what? <laughs> did you manage to repair it or did you do a repair mount? I can uh, do a repair. That is very funny. I'm going in. Don't release yet. 
Okay. Go now. I'm orbing. Yeah. I'm going in. I'm not there, by the way, so... Maybe... Don't pull them. I'm pulling. Are you hurting like five seconds? No. I'm pulling. I suggest pressing a defensive when you come in. He won't do it. I don't have any. Yeah, the 30 is going to be very tight on time. Have a darkness. Easy. Come on. Yeah. Big blast. Let's go. Uh, okay, we have six minutes, so this boss is what, four minutes approximately? And that means. Mm, yeah, I and mean, the 30 would have to be incredibly clean. Do you have a mage table? Oh, yeah. Let's give him the food. Feed him. Feed him. This was disaster. I mean, it, it, it wasn't great. I'll give you that. It definitely wasn't smooth. It wasn't smooth. Doesn't matter. It's a piss key. I mean, it is. It a, is yeah, yeah, it's actually a piss key. It's crazy, but twenty. Uh, it's actually crazy to say, but twenty nine rise is literally a piss key. So do we lost pull? Yeah, no. I'm not seeing a pull. Uh, I guess. I mean, I guess we can. Yeah, it's fine. I think. I have pulled the boss. Very pet now. Yeah, I mean, it's fine. It's fine. I'm pretty damn great that I'm just gonna pin though. Makes it easier for me, that's for sure. So what we do, guys, we just go to the... Um, watch the uh, frontal, by the way, it's gonna frontal. Oh shit, oh. that's not good. Wait, yeah, one sec, boss, you are doing it now. Last. Oh, did he get taunted? He must have got uh, bolted. I didn't see you taunt. Wait for the breath, eh? Your nightmare shall not be. No power, our will is unmatched. I got it off you. For the future of it is mine. Azeroth. Walk to the corner and then walk to where the boss is after this. Walk out and then walk to other bosses. Thank you for your aid. Darkness is down. Oh. The destroyer is so weird. Like sometimes they yeah. insta land and sometimes they take it some time. I hate them. I'll just, uh, we'll go behind where you guys are now. So we'll just go, we'll go anti clockwise because why the hell not? Where are we going? Behind us. Follow me. I did not listen. He didn't oh, listen. It's, fine. it's going outside. Well, it's going to go outside. Breath goes outwards. The second slow. Orb. Uh, 
You guys have to get out of there, right? I can't yeah, blink you... over. Mm. Oh, breath goes middle. I'll just turn it. Easy. The second slow. Think we're winning. We protect the true timeline. Must keep blind. I'll just send this breath outwards. Oh. Whatever the future you can. Yeah, I think it's fine, just Keep moving in that direction after this. Going... Just behind yeah, behind where Vivian and Abindo are. And rated. Oh, there's a uh, leap afterwards. Oh, actually, uh, uh, hang on. I'm, I'm trolling you guys. I need to do the breath here. It'll be a bit spooky otherwise. Enjoy. It's trolling. Yeah. It's judgment day. Spread up it, spread up. Watch the orb. Don't touch the orb. The boss is gonna die. We did it. Yeah, that was uh, a fair bit slower than our other key, but it is what it is. Ooh, we got an Atal! Nice. Yeah, there was a little, little cursed run there. Bit unfortunate. A bit no. Yeah, he, you know, he had a rough time. He had a rough time on that one. That's for sure. All right. Okay. Uh, let's try the thirty then. I think. Surely we. Are can we fresh time it. for the atal? I mean, the atal would be really nice too. Actually, if we'd prefer to do atal, I'm down to do that as well because we do have another day. Uh, to no, do I mean, I, 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 are we fresh for it? That's a. Uh, I mean, I'm fresh. Rarity. I'm ready to go. I'm yeah, fresh. I'm ready to pump. Everyone else. I'm ready to pump Yasma. Maybe, maybe, maybe we're not so fresh. Yeah. Maybe more fresh tomorrow. Yeah, I mean, I, I, we shouldn't push any like mega keys if if a window's still very sick. To be honest, but, uh, we can go. We can do thirty rise, or we can go do. We have th We actually have three choices right now. We, we have four choices. We have thirty Atal, thirty Waycrest, thirty Darkheart, or thirty Rise. That's actually a pretty interesting decision, and I kind of want to go do Atal to be honest. I like it. Bush week. I mean, 30 yeah, Atal would be huge. 30 Yasma, yeah. But we still haven't gotten uh, Everbloom. Yeah, we just we haven't really been rolling it though. All right, let's go do uh, let's go do Atal. I'm going. I'm porting. Let's do it. All right. Yeah. I believe. I believe that we're fresh to do it. I want my three IO. I'm taking it now. Summon me? Yep, we'll summon. I have no We're not going to do the Giga Pull either this time. Or like. well, maybe I am! <laughs> maybe you can't prevent me from doing the Giga Pull. What a wacky tank we have, guys. Mm, you just yeah. don't know it, him. Iron <laughs> generated brute. <laughs> I just go on, I go AI on the, uh, I go on Raider IO, I find the 20 fastest keys, mash all the routes together, and that's what we play. What's the rated uh, come, like, uh, It's time! Okay. I've seen, uh, I've seen a height here, around here, I'm not sure, like. I mean, we're not gonna pull massive, so we can, we don't really need yeah, yeah. to worry about that. Oh wait. <laughs> Thought you were here. All we are doing Oh that's bot, yeah. Is chill I, he deleted the bot for some reason, but I think he's like he hides like around here in the first pole. Um, and he never and like they don't have monks so they're not doing the the I mean, main. And I think he hides like somewhere like around here. I don't it's think not this it works for sure. Yeah, I don't think it works with uh, like Snizzle's monk statue. Yeah, maybe not. 
Because it's like this that spot right there didn't work either. I think. Uh, yeah. The Maybe it's this. Fucks it up. Well. Surely 30 is a good time to limit us. Yeah. Hissing runes. Has anyone got any hissing runes? Wait, do I have hissing runes? I only have howling runes. Yeah, I only have howling. So... Wait, Haste. which stat is hissing? I guess it's mastery. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Well, also, um, Vivi, you press living bomb before combust because you don't want to spend a GCD on that. Uh, yeah, yeah. Living bomb during... We have to resummon him. Pressing living bomb on red. Yeah. Abindo never has consumes. Ever. Yeah. Yo, Rocker, when are you pushing keys, by the way, bro? What's going on, bro? I, ch I look at your IO and it's, what, three right now? Like, two? One? 1K. 1K IO. Seriously, he's literally 1K IO. Best key plus 10 out of the song. <laughs> there we go. We need more big pushers. Four K IO. Four K, and we're going four K IO next season, right? Right, right. I think only one team has four K right now. I mean, yeah. It's, it's, it's actually really interesting. Well, there's no god comp for a start, but also I feel like the keys are way brick wallier than they were last season. You're just gonna start getting one shot. Gonna get one shot. Uh, I guess maybe oh. less people are grinding really high keys as well. Maybe, maybe uh, that's why. I think you didn't feel that brick wall last season because you ran god comp, you know? Well, I, yeah. I also, we didn't really get to, like, the mega high keys, right? Like, our highest freehold was 29, right? But the highest freehold overall was 33. So we were four key yeah. levels behind, mm. right? Like, this time, yeah. we're basically two or even one on basically every key, right? I think. Um, more or less. Uh, we're guess, yeah. two. Yeah. We're two, yeah. Yeah. I guess the only one would be if we do thirty wise. If you do thirty wise, we are one behind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're like. And you're thrown. Yeah, yeah. We are one behind on thrown. Yeah. Yeah, we're like two. But last season we were like four key levels behind. Yeah, yeah. I guess. I guess it wasn't always. It was mostly two or three, right? Because I think we had. We had like twenty-eight vortex, right? Wait, did it? We're like as below on black rook as we are on ever room. Because best black rook is forty-three, best ever room is forty-one. Yeah, I don't, we haven't had a lot of... We haven't done a lot of Blackrock. Like, realistically, 31 Blackrock is kind of free on Fortified, I feel like. Should be, anyway. Should be able to do that. I, I think Black... We haven't had a lot of Everblooms, just in general. I can, it is a hard key, actually. But we can do 29. Like we, 29 is free. The guy bitching the most about privacy charges 1,000 gold for looks. Wait, what? <laughs> Dude, what, what, what? Are you trolling me right now, bro? I don't know if I'm getting... I, thing is, I blame you for this fucking... Uh, I blame you for this, Nike. Okay? Um, like, I have no idea what's legitimate anymore. I have no fucking clue. Fashion people are just concerned about privacy. These people actually sell looks to people for serious gold. They're actually they're actually mad business going on. Oh, really? Oh, shit. I mean, well, I mean... Do I believe that? I mean, maybe. I, I don't know what's real anymore. <laughs> oh, man. What is going on? Am I getting trolled? Who knows? Yeah, that's that's big. That's uh, it's something. Nike is the community manager, guys. You heard it here first. The window's loading in. Here we go. And do we have anything in particular that we need to do for Yasma except don't die? I don't think so, right? It's just play our game. It's just don't feed, pretty much, and yeah. hope for the best. It's time. Play our Arcane. Arcane. I love Arcane. Play Bat chest. Okay. You're gonna press Arcane Missiles and Arcane Surge. And give us and the 25% magical damage reduction on the Arcane Shield. Hmm. Okay. I, I, I I'll know. give you that in a return. I do like 50k DPS. Hmm. 50k. <laughs> uh, is anything on Yasma affected by avoidance? Don't think so. No. I think it's all single target. It's all single target. Okay. I, think so the, I was going to say. I guess the spiders. I can might get be. Like, some avoidance if I drop. Uh, 
out of your pocket and get like. I mean, that's more rewards. stamina, so it's it might Maybe be good. Uh, use yeah. something, yeah. It's time. Yeah. I'm running it. I mean, I think yeah, just don't. If as long as you don't die for the entire key, which is definitely possible, then it's gonna be better. And you can probably you can probably eat before you anyway. Yeah. Before yes, no. Yeah. All right, pull turn. Let's go. Let's send it. It's rate this key. Uh, yeah, you can ask it all two questions. Five, Book. four, three. Let's go. Two, one. Yeah, it's four percent even avoidance. And that will be. I guess it's not that good on this key, is it? I don't think there's not much on this key. Yeah. Maybe we'll call. Oh, That's it. I still have the fucking. Okay. It's fine. <laughs> if you if it's like one talent point, then it's fine. And mm. I believe it is one talent. Oh yeah, it doesn't matter actually. Me silence. Like I don't have to blink shoot, but it's uh, fine. I grow. My silence. I have next up. Oh, I got it. You didn't get it. He charged. I silence. Yeah, that's it. Next up is Snizzle. Next is Abindo. Next is Rated. I have next. Oh, that's a really bad time. Holy shit. No. Okay, that's fine. Griffin. One healed, unfortunately. Silencing. Just gonna pull more in. I'll pull it all back to the where the statue is so we don't get griefed. There's one caster moving in. Focus the auger. Clarion Chan's gonna be next. After this next cast, he's gonna use it. the next stuff. I will stay nearby. I'll silence the cast or run. It's done. Next up is Snizzle. And then my silence afterwards. Okay, silencing now. Vivi next. And a Bindo next. And me next. He's gonna be juiced up. Enjoy that statue. Can oh, wait, you can spell, spell steal. yeah, you can spell steal him. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> yeah. Does it give you the damage buff when you use it? Uh, no, it doesn't. I don't see anything. Oh, it's, it's just yeah, it. Feels bad. Would it be really cool if you could steal it and then uh, grow, right? You could, it would make you bigger, right? When you stole yeah. it. Five percent size. Colossus. That's actually yeah. really cool. I like that. Actually, that's really nice RP. Like Colossus is just bigger. You're just a bigger character because <laughs> you have the. <laughs> But that's kind of cool, actually. Have the yeah. spec, yeah. Uh, it should be more than 5%, though. But like 5% is nothing. You need to be even bigger than that. 
50 percent 50 50 percent big 500 <laughs> huge gripping there's no uh no fire enchant for ages there's one me as well silencing him Augur's dead. Holy shit. Holy. Oh, we need to go a little bit closer. I think I'll grip them towards it. Yep. Oh, yeah, I see it. Yep. I'll start moving towards the Augur. Get him. He's silenced. We can just pull this on the boss, I think. Yeah, we can. I'm pulling. Snizzle kick him next. And then me next. Rated next. Gripping. My stun. Blasting the ad. Gripping the ad back in. Why is he not casting? Science. Yeah, but it was really long. I did I did two sigils. Ah oh, okay. I am the sigil lord rated. New title. Yeah. Uh, Paralysis? No. Yeah, it's, it's fine. Yeah. It, it's uh, maybe yeah, I, I, I should be able to grip it back into the other one in Misery. Actually, wait, can you just re-paralysis it? Yeah, yeah, just do that, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Just fucking nice. do that. Uh, the ring. I think the boss did heal a tiny bit. We were a bit slow on the first blood, but should be fine. Misery. Boom. Boom. Can't get this one rated. It's like a bit yeah, far away. What should die now, I think? Boom. Okay, let's die to the fire. Let's die to the fire, guys. Let's go, let's go. Okay. Yep. It's time, it's time. My thanks for killing the priestess. You have only succeeded in strengthening Are you misery, please, or uh, nah, like 50 nah, seconds? Nah, fuck it. Let's okay. go. Careful. Yeah, let's just go through. I'll silence them and then just run. Oh my god. Everything's silenced. Grab that fucking thing for now. Oh, misery. Breach. Okay. Yeah, I got it. Not even close. We go. Actually, ooh, we're actually a little bit fast, aren't we? Go Razan after this. We are Omega speed. We are indeed speed incarnate. Okay, let's go. I'll just pull these screamers.
boss is on his way. The boss is quite far, actually. Uh, I'll just pull it as soon as it gets here. Let me just lost. He's on his way. Uh, losses in 20, so... Pulling. I have silent sigils for these guys too. I will stop into silence and just pump the boss. I'll silence them again when we have to hide. Uh, lost stuff is screaming. Yep. Silencing. Is they're they're going to get silenced. They're fine. They're fine. I'll take a, I'm going to take a fair bit of damage here. Should be fine with lost though, actually. Yeah, I'll be, I'll be fine. I'll let meld it. Yeah, second. that's fine. Yeah. Yeah, we're good. Might need to adjust the route there. I think uh, that's why people are going Razan first, because you're too fast otherwise. So that might be uh, something we could look at. I guess that wouldn't be an issue in Fortified though, would it? Four, three, two, one. And that's the only week that we actually care about anymore, so... Yeah, maybe we could optimize the tyrannical route a bit. And the true optimization is Snizzle playing Boomkin, actually, and cranking one million DPS for mm. the first half of the key. Yep. One trillion DPS. Ugh. I mean, if you think about it, yep. Snizzle's already half it being a fairy, you know? Yep, that is true. Like Four, a war again, constantly. Two, mm. one. I'm dead to the bleed in one millisecond. It's over. He invised. How are you going to feel rated not being able to invis next phase? You can only fade. So you can half invis. You can just fade into the background. Yeah. Mm hmm. hmm. I cheated. Bruh, how? I just bled. Bled to death. Four, three, two, one. Keep on melding. I'm not melding. <laughs> Is 2.5k rating required week one next season? Yes. Otherwise, we're kicking everyone from the guild who's below that. Four, three, two, one. Bro, Weesh. it's hurting a bit. Fucking Where's, hell. The Where's the defensives, bro? I had rage heart. <laughs> yeah. Two, one. Nice. I. The rain. It ate the rage heart immediately. Kill the boss. Good job, team. If it bleeds, we need to be healed, by the way, afterwards, because I can't uh, heal myself. Yeah, okay, it didn't. Nice, we're good. It's actually very troll when that happens. Was a mm -hmm. lord. It bites you. Perhaps Bleed out after the fight. Make a worthy sacrifice for Zul. I'm collecting some swords. Hope you guys enjoy them. Yeah. I'll be nice preparing for the ranged DPS gameplay. Heroic thrill. Oh yeah, a window's ready. For Warlock. Okay. Press some buttons. 
him to be a rank run distro. I don't wanna play this. <laughs> <laughs> rank one, reign of fire, abuser. Let's start moving. Our time is really good, actually. We are massively ahead of our best 30 so far. That's the good news. Uh, can you... Yeah, yeah, I'm popping. Yeah. 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 I'll drop a darkness as well. Yeah. I want to save my silences here a little bit. I will not silence Sigil. I need them for the witch doctors. I stoned. Right, get the kicks, I'm going in. Yeah, I got him. They gripped. Silencing again. Next, uh, next shield is Snizzle. And then uh, next up is Vivi on Witch Doctors. I have Silence now. Uh, rated next two stops on Witch Doctors. There uh, shouldn't be any more now. Should be good. Kick him. I have next stun on shields. Stopping. They're, I think the other one's going to go off as well, though, so watch out for that. Try and send a single target or anything, really. It's immune. Ah, oh, nice. Okay, great. Don't you just love it when that happens? Yeah. Cope Cobb. What if we have some knockbacks and knockups? I think. Maybe from a... That's the thing. It doesn't work on those. It has to be a stun on those, oh. I think. Because if you grip yeah, them, the shield just stun. follows them. Yeah, so. Has to be stunned. Let's go. Alright. Alright, pulling in three, two, one. Oh, you fucking hell! Fuck you, you, <laughs> you Is that you? Do you face pull there? Like, what was that? I think I did, yeah. Kill the totems. Like he's asleep, you know, and he's not pulled. So surely he doesn't he's just chill and to get a kick. I'm gonna go hold purple. I'm on my way. I I ground the totem, it's uh very Oh scary. yeah, okay, I've taunted it. Oh, it's a shoot me in. Nice. GG. <laughs> it's Being a medic. Bindos kick here, a Bindos kick. Imagine if the totem could melee you, it can just fight back somehow. It would be pretty funny. <laughs> Alright. We're getting the... It'll be kick after this, I think. Yeah, it'll be anyone, really. There's a bunch of people over there. I think we can start to kill. Yeah, you can, you can kill. You can kill. I think we got it. Yeah, we're good. Enjoy the stench. Pull the trash. Plunging. Plunge. Why do the mirror images not cast fireball? 
Yeah, good question. That's actually fucked. You're you're you not a nice they wizard. They could uh, contribute to a uh, hot streak. Holy okay. shit! That would be cool. Maybe Sean Fury does that. Copium. <laughs> I feel Big like they wouldn't be good. It now casts Fireball instead of Frostbolt. Let's go. That's all of the notes. That's the only thing it does. Yeah, surely we don't deplete to Yasma, right? Okay, one shot. Yeah, I mean, we'd have one wipe, but it would have to be very early, and then we wouldn't have lost, so... The answer is, we, we need to not wipe, let's be honest. Like, that, uh, that needs to not happen. Remember, guys, when we get to um, the boss, if the next racking pain is on you and you need something, you have to call it early, yeah? Give uh, Snizzle a lot of time to respond. Yep. That is really important. You can't say, I need something, as it's fucking casting on you. <laughs> mm. That's very funny. Okay. Let's go. Gonna build me a Let's go. That's right. 30 seconds. Maybe a critter? There's maybe a snake that you can get. No, no, no. I, it's, uh, it's, I hate snakes. Okay. I know squad. Let's pull them. And nobody... Look, zero death so far. Let's go. Let's make it 40. Yeah. <laughs> 40 deaths, yeah. One death That's right there. Don't die to those fucking spiders. Oh. Fucking spiders, man. Alright, let's wait till everyone's here. Wait, wait. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm waiting, I'm waiting, I'm waiting, I'm waiting. Wait, wait, wait. I'm pulling. Yeah, no, do not fucking pull. Minus nine on it, KDP. Hang on, let's wait, let's wait. He's on his way. Here we go. Alright, okay. Three, wait, skip it. two, one. Here we go, very funny. I'm just skipping. And let's pump. Let's do this. Get over there. Dripping and blasting. Killing ants. If it's on me, I need help. We're okay. gonna move. Look at the spiders, guys. It's already start moving. Let's move. Okay, let's I'm start. fine, actually. Let's shuffle a bit. We move when they move here. Let's move. Sure. Fine, fine. You can probably go stairs with the next soul round, I think. Now oh, they're spawning on us, actually. Let's move. Careful. Spawning on us. Be careful, be careful, be careful. Gripping. Oh, no. Sorry. Yeah, it's fine, it's fine. Ooh. Hey, some healing. Oh, what? That one shots. Okay. We need another CR. Where? I mean, he's in the shit. Mm, they'll get baited out. You can maybe go from now. Oh. Watch out. There's the one on us, on us, on us. Be very careful, guys. Play very safe. Play very safe. And run ahead with the there's gonna be a There's going to be a spider ahead. There's going to be a spider ahead. Right? I ahead. need something if you can sack or something. Yeah, I can sack you. Yep. Uh, darkness. I'll run far. I need something. Oh, well, healing, I mean. Sorry. Oh. Healing you get. You're not getting any. Okay, let's bait them if into this corner. Again, I need something. Bait them into this corner, and then we move. And I'm pretty sure I'm getting she something. Cross or rend, anyways. Let's move. I'm gonna sheet it the next one. No, I'm gonna sheet it now. Yeah, she did there. I don't have anything for that. Okay, we rally. We, ra we have rally. We have rally. We rally this. Rally, but... rally this. Rally this. Pretty sure it's not enough. Man. We still have a CR. Health pot. Yeah. I'm getting you. Watch out, this is very dangerous. 
Yeah, I'm trying to stay here so the spiders get baited on me. Hang on. I can move in a moment. I can move now. There's still an ad up though. We need to get rid of that thing. Let's try and reset in this corner a bit. What do we have for next? Uh, we should have found yeah, maybe. Go oh, behind us, go behind us here, like, rotate that way. Yeah. Hmm. And we just have to play it with four, it's fine. We have time. We just not die. You have made a fine sacrifice. Uh, well. that's, that's less good. Yeah, I think we're fucked. Uh, can we maybe kill it with, with three? It's doable. We have enough time. We actually do have time. <laughs> the ads are going to be an issue here, though. Yeah, they are. Anything for these? Yeah, I kind of have to just run around in circles now. More and more ads are going to appear. <laughs> yeah, I'm not suited for this. I can try and AoE them. Ah, wait, how did that even go in? What the fuck? It wasn't even close. Yeah, that looked... Uh... Weird. Do I kill this in three minutes? No, no it's 65 mil. No, I also die as well. Uh, well okay, how do we Dude, how I, do we prevent dying? I got racking pain into Soren three times in a row. And yeah, I just run out of shit and we run out of cocoon and cuproids. Like mm. him. Yeah, that's that's unfortunate. Hmm. Oh well, that's... You hate to see I can it. pretty sure it was Wrecking Pain on me, into Solrend, into Wrecking Pain twice on me, into Solrend. Yeah. Yeah, it's... And I got... Uh, then I died, it was one unrated, I got Sealed and Wrecking Pain again on me. Hmm. Something like that. Yeah, it wasn't ideal. It was kind of close. We need that like one more time. We got it. The rest of the key is very clean. Uh, I guess we can just not. We don't need to finish this. Actually, we'd roll into an Everbloom, maybe? So maybe we should. Uh, let me swap something. Let's go. Just wait a minute for Lust and we can practice this. Yeah, I mean, I guess that wasn't the best, the best RNG to happen there, I suppose. Not the best, definitely not the best. Yeah, nearly 100k followers. Exciting times. Exciting milestones. Get in here. We just go, we uh, refresh Lust, and then we send. And then we do 30 Dark Art Thicket as well. It's going to be good. Check, I might want to check the tree stomp damage, by the way, on the 30. I feel like, you know, the tree might immediately... I've checked, yeah. Does it one-shot you? Um, I mean, I think it does on, like, a 28. It actually does, yeah. Hmm. I think on 29, even. I think it one-shots me. That's actually crazy. Uh, that's like yeah. with nothing. It's I mean, that's with no personals. Way. You have a personal every time. XDD tree. Well, unless you get, like, the row, which is, can be unlucky. Wait, I'm not sure the the tree is kind of nails for me, actually. Well, yeah, it, I mean, be it, fine, it's, right? it is going to be pretty nails. I mean, you just rotate memes, right? I mean, Wait, do you not long live long it with Belia? Do you live it with Belia? No. Well, no, bro, that's the entire problem of this pack. Like, I don't live things with Belia anymore. I mean, 
Just live. If right? I did, it would have been pretty tanky, yeah. But I don't. All right, refresh lust, guys, and we have even a uh, tempest barrier isn't enough. It's time. Sixty k. Let's go. I'm going in. It begins. Soul rend. Nice meat here. <laughs> Chains. Uh -oh. hmm. uh, we have CR, but yeah, CR. Should we reset? Ah, just CR. Let's play it out. Should have blinked. He needed the Tempest Barrier. Yeah, uh, yeah. Man. Let's move. Go ahead. I don't have anything. Wait, how? Fucking stuck. Hmm. It's fine. I mean, is it? The ad is just over there, though. This is going to curse the movement a lot. Hang on. Kill the ad. Let's move. Spider spawning on us, watch out. Soul rend. We have mass barrier for this. It's mass barrier, bro. It's not enough. Gripping. Okay, I'm dead. <laughs> Let's move. We have to I, move. It, it is a strat, because he got cocooned, so it's actually a strat. Big tech. Hey. Okay. There's one coming in from ahead of us, be careful. At the I'm oh. dead on the soul end if you don't give me anything. That's all uh, I'm saying. I can suck you with my shot. Easy. Dripping? Maybe suck him with no divine shot. Based. I'm moving towards you guys, I'll just run past you. There you go. I want to bait the one ahead, then move. Let's go. Go ahead. I'll give you a darkness. Have fun. Enjoy. Enjoy. Oh, oh. shit. Uh, that's we're not, not good. Uh, Griffin. We are dead. Ah, uh, yeah, we're mega dead. I mean, we <laughs> don't live this. No yeah, we, we definitely don't. Oh wait, wait that was that a judgment day taunt there I see? That was a No, that was to reset the boss. Ah, okay. Yeah. Nine. Yeah, first legs. Oh man. I should not have that wrecking pain into this all round. Did you did someone in this? I mean someone it's your rated, no. So... <laughs> I, I only invited the soul How round. do I have I the need debuff into the soul round? I don't know. Well, that's what happened to me last time, like twice. So yeah. I think it can I happen, right? I think, you, I think it's like the last tick, and then Soul Rend immediately hits. Isn't that no. how it works? I mean, it, uh, I had a debuff like several seconds. In. Yeah, that's what happened to me last time. Mm. Yeah, it shouldn't happen. Uh, that might be if someone dies to Wrecking Pain, I think. Oh, uh, okay. I mean, if anyone dies early here, it is fucked, by the way, because then the spider positioning is also screwed. Um, dying in like the first couple of minutes here is, it fucks the entire fight. It's not good. Get back over here. We try again. Let's go for another 29 dots. Dude, Revelation owned an internet cafe. That's crazy, actually. I didn't know that. It's a crazy revelation. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> now you know. I published my cafe in 2003. All right, let's do this. Zaza. All right, three, two, one, here we go. Will 
He lost before the fight even started. Shit, mage. Oh, it didn't reset lust? Unlucky, buddy. I think it was just instantly flaming. This reminds me of Sarkrath. Raid is dead in seven seconds. He's dead. He's already dead. I love cyberbullying. Bring back cyberbullying. Yep. Let's move. Going ahead with Sorrent. Grip. Yeah, they're spite us. Yeah, they're on you. I'm all to start moving ahead already. Bait them into the corner. See, if that happens every time, this fight is a million times easier with those ads, by the way. Yeah. I don't know if we can make that consistent, I mean, but... Well, I've been at cities and I had Wake, which is not always the case. Yeah. It just makes the... It will make the spiders way better if those ads die fast. The spiders get cursed when the ads live, because then I have to run around in circles, and it baits them in a pretty bad way. Uh, I have to Sakyon next, because I'm divine shooting. I mean, my as well. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Oh, well. Oh, no. If I can kill that shit. Because if I... Oh, we fucking spider spawned on me. Oh. If we do it like that, and I it lets me stand there, it's very good. It means the spiders are way easier to control, if I can stand a bit closer to you guys there. I will tear your soul apart. You can have a, a darkness. There you go. Okay. I'll grip them back. It's fine, it's fine. I'll grip them. You move on? Yeah, yeah, I can, I can. Oh, it's a bit... The puddles are here. Let's move. Big. Uh, I need something for the soul end. We have yeah. rally. Gripping. These ads die fast. Good, yeah, pretty quick. That's gonna stay here then. It should die in like two seconds. Yeah, no. If it's on me again, then it means I need something for someone. Yeah. 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 Sudden snizzle. Enjoy it. Uh, there's going to be one, there's, ooh, really nasty spawns actually. There's going to be a couple near us, guys, be careful. It's very unfortunate. I can grip them together, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Oh, yeah, there we go, no, it went off. F full C's on them, should be fine. I, oh yeah, I should have. Uh, I have a Nova, I have a stun. This is annoying. Huh? Which one? Kill the boss. Oh, we did it! Man, 30 Yasra is so fucked up. God damn. That is a rough one. Holy shit. Exactly 40 minutes. Oof. 
Oh, we got Rise. Nice. 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 Unlucky. Unlucky. Dude, Everbloom doesn't exist. Yeah, we we are 44 seconds faster than our best. That's crazy. Oh my god. What? what, 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 what. Uh, I think that was la my last key. Oh, that's fair. Yeah, yeah that's fair. Same for me. Yeah, that's fair. That's fair. Uh, okay. Yeah, I mean, obviously that sucks. That's, uh... I mean, that, this key's fucking cancer, right? Holy shit. Um, need an ice file if I die, if single brands are... Oh, I see. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah. I mean, yeah, now we know, right? Like, th this is a really hard boss, right? Um, it's, it's hard. It's very hard, so... Um, Robindo, maybe you could take a shockwave? Because you can make it a bit easier sometimes if we, like... Meme the ads. I mean, obviously we shouldn't. But yeah, if those oh. ads die faster, the spiders will Although be way less of an issue. Yeah, because making shockwave is actually so mega cringe. Here's the problem, right? Like when the ads spawn, if I can stand, not move, basically, it's really good because the spiders will get baited in a straight line, either towards me or towards you. If I have to move diagonally, right? So like, let's say that you know the where Vivi is is where I want to stand. If I have to move over here, it's fucked because the spiders are going to start moving towards me already and they're going to be in the middle of the arena. We don't want that. We really want to be moving the spiders in a line, right? Everyone needs to be in a, in a horizontal line, basically, on the arena. And what's happening in some of these pulls is that we have to move a lot um, because the ads stay up. And I, I, that's obviously just... I'm not saying we're doing anything necessarily wrong, but if we can kill the ads really quickly it makes the entire fight way easier because this is going to be the spiders are going to be way more way more controlled than um if they're not right if the ads die slow then the spiders will be fucked if the ads die fast like they kind of were on that last pull there then the spiders become really easy really quickly um, with that one okay can you recommend between quickness berserker quickness herald boon dps chrono okay. Uh, oh, Harold is the, the Harold is Giga Chad though. I mean, I'm holding CDs at this wake. On one of these sets, I full sent like wings on them because uh, mm. it was scuffed. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I mean, it's, but it's I lose just... quite a lot of positive DPS if I do that. So it's just something that we can think about because yeah, yeah. like that yeah. it, killing the ads quickly makes that fight so much easier. Um, if we can if we can manage to do that. I mean, that last fight I also sent like Meteor into Can, Narnia yeah. a couple of times. And how, how bad is it for you to Nova every set of ads, by the way, rated? Uh, not that bad. I've been doing that. Yeah. Because like, if you just do that, one, pretty much. If you, if you just do that, if we do Chains into Nova or Nova into Chains, one of those well, two things. Well, Nova, they break no, the DPS, yeah. I think. Yeah, uh, so yeah, I go, uh, uh, yeah but yeah. I can do it twice. Yeah. And I also have Blast yeah, Fake, which has a slow on it. Yeah, well, that will push yeah. him towards the boss, though, no? I guess if you position it, it can push him. No, it's way. like a really small knockback. Oh, okay. Yeah, because if, if we come up with some you know, kind of Giga Blast some kind of CC Giga setup Blast for that, yeah. honestly, dude, Giga Blast would be very good in pug keys. You just push in, push them directly into the boss. <laughs> judgment as soon as day. They yeah, it's Judgment Day. <laughs> yeah, speaking of Judgment Day, Alex Sensual is back. Here we go. <laughs> hmm. He's not as well known as Tiny Violin, but unless you played private servers, then you, then the, then people. I've heard of his name, but what yeah. did he do? Like, I mean, why is he so uh, <laughs> infamous? He's he well known for being a little bit uh, unhinged. Let's put it like that, you know. Mm. Uh, <laughs> yeah. He doesn't like uh, rested XP or the hardcore community uh, very much. He's he's gone for them. Yeah. Yes. All right, I'm going to bed. Good night. See ya. Yeah. Badge. Badge. All right, okay, tomorrow we've got to get some shit done then. We need to get that Dark Heart. I think the really big target for tomorrow is the Dark Heart. The Rise, I think 30 Rise might just barely be too much. Um, but the 30 Dark Heart is doable, for sure. Man, we need... Where's our fucking Everbloom? Holy shit! A key doesn't exist. Actually insane. Maybe Waycrest tomorrow too. Could be good. Very nice. All right. I guess that's going to about do it. Time flies when you're blasting the keys, huh? 
Uh, but yeah, we'll be back tomorrow, guys, I'm sure. Um, more content. I want to do some Guild Wars 2 tier lists. So we're doing Guild Wars 2 tier lists tomorrow. And some more keys. You guys know how it is. We're going to key hard. I guess it's SAB tomorrow as well. I don't think I'm going to play SAB. I, I, I do want to do Tribulation mode. I'll probably play Tribulation mode a little bit. We might be playing some Sarah stuff as well if the uh, challenge mode does see some changes. So we'll see how that one goes. Uh, in that regard. But yeah. Uh, big day for Expose Me. Yeah, these these screenshots, they... they <laughs> yeah, I mean... Yeah, <laughs> yeah okay. <laughs> yeah. Is Heroic Alt Raid tomorrow? Uh, not Saris. Oh, I can play on my Mistweaver. Look, guys. Check this out. Here we go. I'm ready to Mistweave, guys. Let's go. It's time. But yeah, I think next season, guys, and wow, I'm probably going to grind a lot. It is big fucking grinding time, boys. Because I want to try to get high IO and do high keys on uh, healer, tank, and DPS. I don't even have an offhand intellect, which is a bit awkward, but oh well. I'm sure I can get one. Look at this shit, guys. I got my cocoon. I'm ready to cocoon people. I'm ready to channel. Whoop, whoop, whoop. I'm ready to go. It's actually a pretty cool playstyle, right? Like you like lock onto someone with your soothing mist, and then you can just juice them. Like you can like omega heal them. You can like glow, whoop, and then you can get them with all your other abilities, right? You can get them with your enveloping mist, and then just like spam vivify on them, I guess. Bomb dispenser. Well, I just have it bound to trinkets, right? So I mean, I. These are the only trinkets I have. I have Bomb Dispenser and Beacon. So I'm going to be cranking with that in keys. Let's go. But yeah, I guess I need to get an Intellect Trinket, huh? Because I guess it's only uh, Agility and Strength. Here we go. Let's go. Mage? Honestly, I'm enjoying Mage, man. I'm looking forward to playing this in keys. Look. Why does no one think it's awesome that the Drustvar theme is Phantom of the Opera, by the way? I feel like I'm the only guy in this entire community who's like, yo, this is sick. But here we are. Flame Strike on five? Yeah, I mean, I don't think I'm going to be using that very often when I get to the actual build, but yeah. I'll probably put something else on five. Although you don't really have that many attacking spells. Like, what other um, offensive abilities am I going to have, right? I'm going to obviously going to end... We're going to get Combust. Uh, Living Bomb, obviously, as well. But I feel like I'm not going to have that many spells. Arcane Explosion? Bro, it's literally best uh, my best AoE skill right now. Like, you want, what you want me to do, bro? You want me to fucking ignite cleave down a normal dungeon mob? Oh, yeah, I get Meteor as well. When do you get me? Oh, yeah, here. This. Oh, that's really late. I'm not going to get that for ages. I think it's like level 50 or some shit. Yeah. No, I get top DPS in pugs, man. I'm top DPS in normal dungeons with arcane explosion. Ignite on plus twos and from level one. Ignite in leveling dungeons. I'm not sure about that one, bro. Why are you living as fire anyway? That's awful. Because I want to get used to the spec. And also, I kind of like fire mage. I mean, why not? What's wrong with it? Look, you, you just one-shot stuff. Look, guys. Uh, oh, well, that wasn't me, actually, but... It <laughs> you do big damage. Look. Oh, 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 oh. See, look, it's dead. Yeah. Feels bad leveling, does it? And I haven't played anything else, so I don't really know. I can't tell you. 
I work in my demonstration for Mage and Classic WoW. You know, it's similar to retail, right? Like, you just cast, I mean, like, I'm just going to be casting Fireball and nothing else. Oh. Pow! Oh, my Pyroblast didn't even land! But I'm not going to lie, the spec feels really good uh, to me, to be honest. It feels really good. Like, the way that um, a Hot Street works, I think, is extremely fun. You know, you line up your crits, and you have a couple of ways to get guaranteed crits. You have, like, guaranteed Scorch crits, guaranteed, um, where's the fire? Yeah, Fireball crits as well, here. And then that just funnels into your Pyroblast, which is, like, your spender, basically. It's re really fun, I feel like, yeah. Then I have Ice Flows. Here we go. I can cast my abilities while moving. Look at that. Pretty cool. I, w I actually was wondering if it worked like this, and this is actually really nice. You can cast a spell and then cast ice flows and start moving while casting it. I was I was thinking that maybe one of the things that feels bad about mage is that you can't do that, but yeah. You can, so it's all good. Yes. Uh, there's a bug with ice flows. If you recast it at the end of the cast, you dupe the charge. Wait, what? So wait, hang on, hang on. Let me let, let's let's try that. So if you recast it like right at the end of this one, so here we go. Okay, let's let's see what happens here. So I'll do it like one zero seconds. Oh, I was too slow. Fuck. Oh, at the end of whatever you cast. Oh shit. Okay, let's try that. Did I do it wrong? Oh wait, wait, hang on a minute. So wait, you mean like this? So you you go like this or something? Oh no. Oh wait, there's a great wait, there's a grace period. Uh losing SKB stacks is uh actually uninstall worthy. Yeah, because I guess it takes quite a while to build them up, right? You have to do eight hot streaks to get your SKB, and then you get a giga pyroblast and six seconds of combust. So yeah, if you lose this, you are actually fucked. <laughs> You are fucked if you miss that. Holy shit. <laughs> Unlucky, buddy. Do not die. This is definitely a don't die angle there. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, I'm looking forward to playing it in keys. It definitely... It, it, I can see why it's so strong. Because you just single target, right? Like, you just single target pump you pick like something that's got like a hundred million health and you just crank i can't get guaranteed crits with fire starter or scorch mobs wait what do you mean if i'm without shifting power i'm actually just fireballing and uh hope it crits oh i see yeah because the mobs won't be below 30 percent health so you can't fish for a crit on them or if you die halfway through the pool. Yeah, because the mobs are not above 90 or below 30, right? So you can't fish. You have to fireball. All right, that's way better next time, right? Because you take the... Because I was talking with Vivi. You, you take... You do like Phoenix Flames, right? So that will make it easier to recover, I guess. Like easier to recover with um with this talent. So that's pretty cool. Yes. Yep, cock. Yeah, this is fun. I actually really like the ignite mechanic. I really like the fact that your fire blast uh, spreads the ignites out. That's quite fun. Your tier set gives extra phoenix flames. Actually, wait. Let's let's see what what is the. Uh, I actually know what the tier set does. Um, okay, here we go. Wait, which one? Wait, it must be this one, right? Uh, wait, no, it's not that one. It must be this one. Ah, yeah, four eighty. Here we go. Um, Phoenix Flames applies charring embers to all enemies it hits, increasing their damage taken for you by 6 minutes. So that's like a very basic, like, you have to upkeep that. So you have to cast the Phoenix Flames at least every 14 seconds to maintain that. And then 4 set, when you're damaging spells, hit an enemy afflicted by charring embers 20 times. The damage of your next two Phoenix Flames is increased by 200% and they refund... So you get two free Phoenix Flames 
and they also do three times damage, right? Increased by 200%. So increased by 200%, so they do mega damage then. And that definitely feels like a slightly more fun tier set, I guess. When Power Blast and Flames are critical, you gain Searing Rage. Critical Strike damage by 4% for 12 seconds. Second, I mean, that's pretty cool, though, actually. You get, like, mega crits. Activating Combustion increases the Critical Strike damage bonus of Searing Rage by 150. Wait, wait, what? Yo! Bro! That just. This tier set sounds fucking sick! So you get 60%? Oh, and no, by 100. Yeah, uh, so it's by what? It's 1.5x. So you get. An extra, yeah, you get 50% critical strike damage bonus. Yo, you get insane damage. Yeah, I guess it doesn't really, I guess it's a bit boring. It doesn't really do anything for you rotationally, but holy shit, that sounds insane. Yeah, it's like very passive, but that's insane DPS. Like your combust window is fucking ridiculous uh, if you pop that. Yeah, okay. That makes sense to me. Yeah, de I, I think the tier sets that do change your rotation are better. And I guess this just doesn't really do that at all, right? It's just, it, it, you just, you cast your abilities. Dude. Check out these, uh, uh check out my trinket, guys. I have, um, I, I have like a thing that summons an elephant. Check this out. Look at this. Check this out, guys. Here we go. Are you ready? Boom! See that? It summons on the elephant, just like smashes everything. It's huge. Yeah. I have no weak auras, by the way, guys. I'm pure. I have no mage weak auras whatsoever. But soon I will. I will embrace my weak auras, chat. I will love the weak auras. Look at my eye level. I'm a 60 eye level mage. Look at that. No shoulders. No, just completely missing. It's pretty fun stuff. I've got to say, I am impressed by the leveling. Do you know what my only critique is on the leveling? Is that it's... It moves you on way too fast, right? I... I was just kind of getting to know all of, like... You, you meet these castaways, right? You go, um... You meet these castaways and kind of ally with them, right? In... Uh, in, uh, in the fucking island, okay? And that's really cool. But the moment that you start to figure out what's going on there, it's like, well, it's time to go. It's time to go to Freehold. And then you go to Freehold, and you're there for like 10 minutes. Then it's like, okay, it's time to go away from Freehold now. It doesn't spend enough time. I, I think it'll be... This is where stuff like Classic, I think, is a bit better. If, if, um... If this game was like Classic, you would spend like an entire day just doing quests in freehold right you know what i'm saying um and that will be awesome that will be really fucking sick but you don't you move on so fast like the game wants to show you everything constantly yeah you go to freehold with flynn you know what um man i don't know how this was if this was coded or not but um okay so there was a quest with Flynn where I had to, like, follow him around. But there was an optional quest that I picked up. Um, and it said you have to collect all these flies, basically. Or stingers or something. And the game knew I did this. So when I'd finished the quest, Flynn flamed me for picking up a side quest when we should have been doing the main objective. I thought, like, holy shit. This is insane. I feel like I'm playing Divinity right now. Uh, but yeah. It was pretty good. What's my favorite class? I don't know, actually. I don't know what my favorite class is. It might be Monk. I re I just really like... um, I really like Brewmaster and how it works as a tank. I think the, the stagger mechanic is a very good design for tanks. I like that a lot. It's... Yeah, I, I think stagger is... I, th I think Brew is my... Brew is probably my favorite tank, I think. Um, it's just, I think it's very well designed. It's a little bit bloated on buttons. It's got some kind of pointless abilities. Like, oh, oh boy, I get to drop down my statue and it just like pulses damage. It's like, okay, whatever. Um, the monk core tree is a bit lame as well. But in general, I just think the mechanic of Brewmaster is exceptionally good. 
uh, take some time. It's not the fact levels are too fast. You zoom past the quest. Well, no, no, no. The thing is, I'm doing the campaign linearly. I'm just doing what the game is telling me to do. I'm just playing through the campaign, and you move so fucking fast um, through the campaign. I kind of felt this way a little bit in Dragonflight as well. In Dragonflight, um, I guess you can stick around and do all the side quests. And this is the thing. Like, holy shit, dude. Look how many quests there are. It's insane. It, 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 there's so many things. Like, I haven't done this. I haven't done this either. I didn't do the overrun mine quest over here. And that's just in Tiragard Sound. I haven't even done the stuff in Drustvar yet at all. Right? And there's still a billion quests here. And then there's going to be Stormsong. There's probably going to be a billion quests over there as well. And then that's only part of it. I haven't even done this shit yet. And I presume, yeah, there's going to be a bunch of stuff to do over here as well. Got a Guild Wars 2 question. When I watch the Snowcross Benjamin, they're pressing all their buttons and it looks like they're getting ahead of the animations and the spells being put in a queue to be cast. I imagine that, yes, there is skill queuing in Guild Wars 2. There's, uh, there's skill queuing in WoW as well. It's uh, quite subtle, but there is skill queuing in this game as well. But y yes, there is skill queuing in Guild Wars. Um, not coming back into max is lock XP. Well, I mean, I'm not going to lie. I really don't think it matters if I max level because, I mean, look. This is what happens when, you know, it's dead, right? You know what I mean? It's like, the game is very easy in open world. And, you know, like, whatever. I'm not, I'm not going to be upset about that, but... I'm not gonna lie, the difference between like doing this and having like juiced out gear is, is probably not really that different. Like you just run around just fucking nuking as well, right? Like I mean I don't even have gear, right? I'm I have terrible gear. Like level 27 navigator's gloves from Don Moreau, I think. And you know, you just you just kind of one shot everything anyway, right? Boom. Pow. There's another thing that's going on there as well, newly reformed plus ultra that you've got to be careful of is uh, Guild Wars 2 has aftercasts and you can cancel some of those. And that also might be what they might be doing on, on certain builds. Pow. No heirlooms. I actually do have heirlooms, some of them, but I actually very specifically chose to not use them um, because if I did that... I feel like it would just kind of ruin the game a little bit. I wanted to see what it was like to play through as a new player would play through pretty much. So without using heirlooms. Look, check this out, guys. I have the Dread Pirate Ring because I won the Kalawak Fishing Contest, right, in Wrath of the Lich King. Check that out. Look at that thing. Yeah. But yeah, I don't even have shoulders. I have no shoulders. But I've got a couple of these things. Look at that. I don't know that. Oh, there's so many, though. Holy shit. Look at all these heirlooms you can have. I guess if you have full heirlooms, your XP is insane. Rest of the XP consumed is reduced by 30%. Another 30% with a 6 bonus. And you get bonuses when you level up as well. It's pretty cool, I guess. Yeah, I like the music a lot. Although, actually, I am going to complain about this. There is not enough music in BFA. Um... I am hearing the same tracks a lot, uh, and they are really good, but they should have written more music. Uh, you're a billion dollar fucking company, um, do more, right? I, the music is amazing and I love it, but I want more of it. That's my Battle for Azeroth review. But yeah, it is exceptional. Uh, the music is really good. Uh, I was talking to the boys about this yesterday, but I'm really impressed by how good the voice acting is in this game. The voice direction is extremely good. The music is extremely good. Uh, I like the cutscenes as well. Those are pretty cool. You know, three zones to, uh, to level through. Yeah, but the thing... No, no, no. What I mean is, is that um, the Boralus music is the freehold music, right? That's, that's my problem here. Um... The freehold theme plays in multiple areas. And don't get me wrong, I like that. The freehold music is really good, but I feel like Bar and, and Boralus kind of does have its own theme as well. Um, a little bit, but sometimes it just plays the freehold music. No, it is exactly the same, actually. Maybe it's because of um, uh, some new content they added, but no, it is the exact same track. I know there is like a more orchestral theme as well that also plays in Boralus. But it also plays the freehold theme. And it's like, what the fuck? 
Uh, and actually, in general, that is something that's quite weird. You can move like two centimeters and in completely different music will play sometimes, which I think is slightly unusual, to be honest. I'm not compl- I mean, that's a very minor complaint, though. Overall, I think it's pretty good. I only have a few very minor complaints regarding, um, the game. Like, uh, I think music variety would be nice if there was even more. I think it would be better if there were longer quest chains that you could kind of delve into. Most of the quest chains that I've done in BFA have only been, like, three quests long. I think Dragonflight does this a little bit better, actually. The quests in Dragonflight are way more involved. Like, the chains will take you a significantly longer time to get through than they do here in BFA. Um, but I don't know, whatever. Who cares? Either way, I'm out of here, guys. I'm raiding Snub. I'm raiding the Goose. I'm raiding the Goose, chat. Let's go. I'm back tomorrow with SAB and a variety of content, and it's going to be great. Enjoy, my friends. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Good night, good night, good night, good night. Follow, subscribe, come back and watch every single day. I will be back next time. It's going to be good. Say out of the goose.